We got Twitch rivals tomorrow. Me and the boys. Me and the boys, we gotta do some some training. Uh, what are we? Bohemia. Bohemia. That's right. King Rory the Fourth. Who's on my team? Have films. Actually invited. I know. Unbelievable, huh? Unbelievable. Okay, let's get rid of all this crap. Okay, our primary heir is the wrong dynasty, but that's because we haven't produced any childs yet with Queen Saroldu of Bohemia. Um, our domain is a bit better than it was um, because we now own uh, parts of um, Austria down here. We've, our primary holdings are down here in Austria. And our succession is uh, not good right now. Princess Jitka of Bohemia, my half-sister, uh, stands to inherit uh, the lot. But we're going to change that soon. Because we're going to have some babies. Hopefully not too many babies. Uh, we've got Bavaria, who has been um, cut right down. But is no longer part of uh, East uh, Frank Francia, Francia. However you like to pronounce that. Um, and then we have all of these sort of like horse lord nations to the east here. That we're going to have to start going through and uh, assimilating into uh, the Bohemian sphere of influence. We're we're a fairly big player over here in the east uh, now. We we've, we've got a we've got a nice setup. We've got a big army. Well, we had a big army. We've just had a succession, so um, things aren't ain't what they used to be. Yeah, Sweden has fucked like every border as well. Like they're just everywhere. Look at they're even down in fucking Italy here as well, which is uh, nuts. They're all over England. Um, funnily enough, they don't have um, a firm hold of all of Sweden itself because <laughs> of Aquitaine. And then they've got some of our horse nations over here as well. So we're going to have to fight them eventually. Uh, we can fabricate claims. We can ransom Duke Lando. We can imprison criminals. We can create two titles. The Duchy of Salzburg and the Duchy of Kuryavia. Um, Salzburg might be a nice one to make, actually. It's close by. Um, and then we can get... Um, some prestige, which we don't really need right now. Actually, we've got tons. Um, but we have three of the de jure counties that we can put in here. And we can, hopefully, Salzburg, Schaumburg. Uh, we've got the county of Salzburg with Count Jenik here. And we've got the county of Halstatt. Count Bohuslav is down here as well. And I believe that the county of Linz falls under this as well. Uh, there is a pirate currently uh, in charge of that. And then we have one of the counties as well. We could do with getting some other counties. Um, we probably want to keep as many uh, counties as we can from the, uh, from the Duchy of Austria. Which is what where I, I think that's going to be our primary. We've made Vienna the capital of the, uh, of the empire as well for now. Yeah. Remember to revoke titles from the guys in your prison. I have done problem is, is uh, it's a stressful thing for me to do. I've got the generous trait. So we go into critical stress anytime we revoke titles. So we just have to balance it out. So the Duchy of Austria. We've got this guy here, Count Delamere, is holding a county that we would like to have. Um, I can revoke the title from him, uh, but I can't seem to claim the title. Um, I don't think I currently have a claim to the title either. No, uh, all of my claims are done. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, if I try to revoke this title, it'll be seen as an act of tyranny. Um, if I could somehow claim that title, um, it would be not seen as an act of tyranny. Is he at war? Or do we have a truce with him or something? No, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll just try again later. Start the religion of Sips. We have we we do need to. Uh, we're not in. Uh, we need to do a pilgrimage. I think. I don't think I can afford to do one, and I think we have to wait. Oh no, pilgrimage is available. All right, let's go on a on. We, let's go on a pilgrimage to start things off. We're gonna go on a long pilgrimage to Barlad, like uh, uh, like our Rory's, all the Rory's that came before us. Rod? Is that you? Rod is trying to talk to me. He's telling me, go to Barlad, just like your dad did. 
Go to Bar Lad, Dad, just like your old dad did. Like your dad and his dad before him. Uh oh, where's my sword? We have a 68% chance of fending off the bandits and gaining some prestige. We are, we are wounded instead. The 68% chance was uh, XCOM chance at, uh, at getting that one. All right, we've gained some religious points and we've gained the trait Pilgrim. A fairly uneventful pilgrimage. Duke Lubos of uh, Poland can, uh, can do this job. Hopefully we can go some way towards getting him to like us. He hates us right now. In before game over. What? Hey, Randall Adner, thanks so much for the 10 gift subs, man. I appreciate it. All right, we return from our pilgrimage. It looks like we have a liberty faction created against us. Um, and it looks like we're going to have some Franconian Waldensian populists rising up against us as well. These guys want to lower the crown authority. Who is this woman? Oh, she's up here. Pomerania. Pomerania. What's in the Duchy of Pomerania normally? Oh, uh, she's got some holdings outside of the de jure claims from Pomerania as well. Lucky bitch. Lucky bitch. What happened to Rory's face? He was maimed on his uh, pilgrimage. He's been wounded. Um... Many months have passed since the lords and ladies of the realm gathered for a fe feast, my king. Duke Lubos' voice is full of urgency as he continues. It would benefit you, not to mention those amongst us who appreciate a good feast, if this was remedied soon. You know what? There's no time like the present. Let's host a feast. We're going to host a, a feast. We're going to lose some stress. We're going to gain some religious points. It's going to cost us 200 bucks. Let's send out the invitations, baby. Nice. All right. A cheery gathering. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my feast. It's an expensive one. The high table breaks. Count Bohuslav has become my friend. What a great night. What a man. Count Bohuslav. Look at this! Every guest gains 20 opinion of me for 10 years because we hosted a feast. I, I'd say this is a success. Fervent feaster. My lord, you truly outdid yourself this time. It certainly was a feast to remember. Okay, this guy gains 20 opinion of me as well. Nice. He is currently um, a man who is uh, powerful enough to take me down and hates me. So anything we can do to get him on side, we will do. In the meantime, we want to work on getting this guy's title. Or at least possibly claiming it for ourselves. Vassalage in court? No, I just don't have the option here at all. If I revoke his title, he'll 100% accept. But I want to get around this uh, tyranny rating. It's weird. I just don't have the, um, the access to it, you know? I just don't have the, the claim title option. Oh, maybe it's because I need to um, get it from um, one of the focus trees. Maybe claim title is something that comes from the focus trees. You know what? I think it is, actually. I think it is. All right. As soon as we can afford it, let's create the, the Duchy of Salzburg so that we can get some of these vassals underneath another duke. Check my prison as well. Yeah, we do have some prisoners. Do we have anybody... We have Duke Lando of Moravia. Who we do want to strip titles from, I think. His primary heir is Justina, the mother of Duke Lando. She's 41 years old. Um, if we let this guy out, he currently holds the Duchy of Moravia, um, the County of Olomok, and the Bishopric of Unikov. I think we can just let this guy out, honestly. I think we can ransom him for a hundred bucks and just let him go. That's fine. Anybody else want to pay me some money to get out of here? Otakar? Otakar will not pay money. He will not pay money. And he will not play, pay money either. We get weak hooks on all these people, but I don't know if it's worth it. Alright, let's let this asshole out. That's fine. Um, Duke Conrad's inherited contract obliges him to more than you've collected. Okay, 
Duke Conrad uh, is currently my spy master vassal. Uh, let's let this one slide. Got a weak hook on him. Great work. Okay, Sanct Porton have fully embraced the Czech traditions. This is nice. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Um, it's this one that I want to do. Okay, M. Stetton is next. I'm going to transfer it over to be Czech. And then let's get Krems. Krems is one of ours, right? we got to get the control sorted out here. Same with Cohen. How we, we need to build up this economy, right? Our economy is dire right now. It's terrible. Giving away the Duchy of Bohemia. Yeah, we gave it away. We gave it away to uh, somebody else. It's kind of garbage, though. For now. We'll let it get built up, and then we'll just take it back, right? Somebody is plotting against me. Okay. Somebody's trying to claim the throne. We're not sure who it is. Duke Lando. Duchess Bohunka. Duchess Jitka of Lower Cilicia. All right, Duke Lando. You can have the job. We're going to have to try and sway this guy into liking us. Because uh, Duke Lubos. I don't know what happened to Duke Lubos. Where is he? <coughs> Duke Lubos has claims. He's, uh, okay, he's unlanded. I guess somebody just, like, fucked him out of all of his holdings. Sure. Praise Rod. Yeah. It's time to praise Rod. It is time to fully, fully praise Rod. We're not making any uh, money from a lot of these places, right? Because of the control issues. We're currently working on getting control back in Krems. County control is 25 out of 100. Popular opinions minus 50. And the faith is all wrong here as well. So we got to do some more faith conversions, right? We also need to have some some babies. Okay, let's get this Duchy of Salzburg created. Um, and then we'll give um, this to somebody as well, right? So the Duchy of Salzburg... County of Salzburg. So, Jenik of Salzburg is going to get this one. We're going to give this to him. The Duchy of Salzburg. Actually, wait. I can hold on to this duchy title, right? I don't have too many too many duchies. I've got kingdoms, but actually I've got two duchies. I can have two duchies. I'm going to keep Salzburg, actually. Um, and then I'm going to try to claim back some of this stuff as well. Like, uh, maybe this. Will this guy give me... The county of Linz. We might be able to grab some of this stuff back. We need to work on our domain limit, right? My skilled steward, my steward Countess Ephrosia, has proven herself highly capable, especially in administrative matters. Okay, we're going to spend some um, crown points and get encouraged improvements for five years in the county of Ch Chelmano. Great. Too many duchies on the dance floor. I think you're right. Okay, we need a chancellor. We're going to put Count of Vikoslav in here. And we're going to get him to work on this sort of shit. We've also got a... The Franconian Waldensian populace are going to rise up in a minute. So I have to fight them. There'll probably be a lot of them. I don't know. Our army might not be ready for this. We'll have to see. Rally the troops. Um... It shouldn't be too bad, actually, um, if we can if we can snipe some of them. So our military is uh, it needs some work as well, right? We're gonna raise everybody in Krelms and um, take the fight to these traitors. Good. Uh oh. Dalibor's been injured. There's nothing that can be done. Okay, we're gonna have to make the long walk over here and fight these guys. It's okay. We should be able to win this, no problem. 
We have better, um, we've got a better army in general, right? These are all just like peasant folk. Scheme of court, let the traitor be known to all. My spy master's come to me with the discovery. He's certain that my vassal Duke Lando is scheming against me. Okay, we're going to um, expose Duke Lando as an agent in the claim throne scheme against me and um, cause him to lose some prestige for it, right? We could throw him in jail. He was just in jail though. Let's just let him be known to all and then he'll have more trouble keeping his house in order, right? Need to get a marshal in here. Duchess Jitka. Now is your time to shine, baby. You sent 15 more subs, but they're missing. Oh, shit. Thank you so much, Randall Adner. Sorry that they went missing. I don't know what happened there. I don't see them on my, uh, on my list. Thank you so much, though, man. I appreciate it. Okay. We imprison this fool. It looks like we're being raided as well. Um, but I'm not going to go chase down the raiders. But we'll just uh, disband the army here. All that without even a commander. Pretty good. Uh, we're in a little bit of debt after that. But we can ransom some prisoners. Count Wechthari for 50 bucks. Count Leupold for 50 bucks. Ursus will give me 10 bucks. Nice. That should bring us out of debt. Good. And Duke Lando for another 100 bucks as well. Okay. This is going to stress us out big time, but we have to get these titles off of him, right? County of Brno. Fucking, how did Duke Lando get all of this shit? This is crazy. All right. So he has claims on all of these places that I just took. Um, wait, how? What if I ransom him? He'll give me a hundred bucks. Just so, okay. He's giving me a hundred bucks, and he doesn't have um anything but we're stressed out we're stressed to the gills and we're way over our our limit here too right so we'll have to recreate this duchy title and uh we'll have to give away some of these places right most of these places okay that's a castle it's a castle as well which ones of these actually make some money olomouk okay some of these will give away though we'll grant this to ota a fine check man Okay, you can have this. We'll grant this to Zbinek. Zbinek. It's part of my dynasty as well. Okay, you can have this. Um, we just need to give two more away. So we'll give Berno away. Um, to um, Dalibor. Okay, here you go, Dalibor. You can have this. And then uh, let's also give away uh, Opava as well. For now. Oh, you can always take these back after if we need to, right? Uh, Zbislav. Zbislav. You can have this. Okay. And then we'll have to create some titles to get these grouped up, right? Dark Thoughts. Maybe a couple of drinks. Donating to charity. 95 bucks will relieve 42 stress. Uh, we can gain 13 stress and uh, resist these impulses. Yeah, let's do that. We can try to host a feast or something, right? Got 161 bucks now. Got another stewardship perk. Golden obligations? Maybe we take golden obligations and uh, start demanding payments for hooks. It might be a way of raising some money uh, whilst we're sorting out all of this control and, and everything, right? Because we're currently not making a lot of money. Although Schaumburg is making us a little bit of money now, which is pretty good. 
Um, we got hamlets and stuff. The control is still not here. And the, uh, the religion is still not there. But it is bringing some money in. It's Christmas Day. <laughs> right, almost. Okay. Let's go for a seduce scheme. Against my wife. So that we can make her pregnante. We have to lay with her. We have to try to lay with my wife. You're doing great, Dad! Hey, Fuck Dad, you. I just wanted to say thank you for helping me get through all the stress of wedding planning, stress oh. of finding a place, stress from COVID deaths in the family, and all of that to focus on what really matters. Rod. Mm -hmm. Praise Rod. Mm -hmm. Give me that Rod. Gino Cappuccino, thanks so much. And um, I hear you. And I hope that uh, everything uh, turns out good for you. And safe as well. Safe and good. This is the kind of shit that we like, right? Safe and good shit. No? Or not really? Kinda? Maybe? You hope that Rod gives you comfort. Yes. Seek comfort in Rod. Alright, so in terms of factions, Crown Authority, um, we've got... Uh, Duke Wojtek of Bohemia. All right. Bearing in mind, a couple of years ago, this guy loved us because we gave him um, the realm on a, on, a, on a silver plate and a silver platter. Now he wants us to eat his ass, <laughs> which is not great. Um, I, don't have any, um, I don't have any real ways of, um, of swaying him until I make some kids. Can make maybe make an alliance with them. We told you not to regret. No, no, I don't regret it at all. He's not a problem. He's not even really a big boy. It's all these tribal holdings don't account for shit, honestly. Like he's, look, he's got a thousand troops. We have like seven thousand. There's no way. He can rise up as much as he wants. Not every gift has to be a grand statement of wealth. Smaller things can make a far greater impression. I don't like the implication here. As long as they are chosen well. I wonder what Queen Soroldu would appreciate. A great big juicy hog, hopefully. But, I don't know. It's sort of saying now that, like, uh, maybe she likes small micro wieners as well. A silver locket, a stuffed fox, a flower display for the garden. Maybe she appreciates beauty. Let's try a flower display. See if she likes that. Okay. Budding interest. She loved that. We may plow her yet. We're heading... We're on a crash course for a tumble. Thanks to this flower display. You gotta love it. Get my coat I've pulled. I'm going in. Going in rough and ready. I mean, that doesn't sound great, does it? Jesus. Uh, we can d demand payment from Duke Conrad here. Uh, because of our weak hook on him. We'll, we'll gain a little bit of stress, but he's going to pay me 55 bucks. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Okay, that's good. We can create a title. Uh, we can recreate the Duchy of uh, Moravia. Which I think would be a good one, right? Okay, we can't hold this though. We have too many duchies. So we're going to hang on to Salzburg in Austria, but we're going to give Moravia away. Uh, the Duchy of Moravia. The Olomouc is the, is, the, is the capital, but we own that. And we're going to hang on to it. So I think we're going to give it to whoever is in Brno. Our man here, Dalibor, is uh, is already here. He likes us quite a bit, so we're going to give it to him, all right? We're going to give him um, Moravia. So three, vans three vassals will be transferred in under him as well. There you go, bitch. All right. It's a lot more organized now. We don't have, like, all these fucking shitty little vassals everywhere.
Give away Salisbury. No, no, I'm gonna hang on to Salisbury because these, I, these, these feudal holdings down here will be worth a bit more, right? Look, Krems and Holland Howl are are coming online now too. All right, we're gonna burn this witch for crimes against Rod. We need all the religious points we can get, right? If we ever want to reform this fucking religion, we've burnt her uh, in the name of Rod. In the name of Rod. Okay, we're going to a feast. This should be good. Let's get rid of some of this stress before we die of stress. The dilemma. Um, do we want to be friends with this guy? He's my Chancellor Vassal and Champion. Um, okay, sure. We, 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 we're we're going to be friends with him. In awe. He gained scholarly confidence for five years. Great. Okay, Vount Vikoslav uh, is going to lose 10 opinion of me, which is fine, and spend 150. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want to lose it. All right. We lose 24 stress. That's nice. That is nice. Okay. What's this? Visit the market. Spend gold to focus your mind. We'll lose 55 bucks. We'll lose 55 bucks, but we'll also lose some stress. Two of that. No, wait, three. Oh, that's kind of cool. A reading in Huyen. The celebrations had come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Queen Saroldu suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Saroldu. Do we want something pious? Do we want to be entertained? Or on the judgment of the stars, should we have a chance to learn? Do you think she's she's very religious? No, she is of a different religion, right? Let's be entertained then. Okay. She's completely engrossed by the entertainment. Good choice, Rory, she... She says, and puffs her chest. It was great, wasn't it? We're, we've developed a smoldering chemistry. Looks like we can't go wrong with our number one babe. Looks like we cannot go wrong with her. We seem to know her. We're like soulmates. We're like fucking soulmates, baby. What duchy can we grab here from Galicia? Galicia have quite a bit of shit, don't they? Oh, they're all over the fucking place. Okay. They're like Spaniards this far east. What the hell? Invade Bavaria. Um, Bavaria is a little bit of a, a tricky one because they're Catholics. We're not really, like, all set up to do um, religious conversions en masse at the moment. Um, who's this? My spy master's come to me with the discovery. Is certain that my guest, Leva, is scheming against me. Okay, let's chuck her in jail. My guest, of all people. All right. We're still working on hereditary rule. We're in early medieval. It looks like we've done... Everything in tribal now. Everything in tribal has been learned by us. It's good. My beloved wife. As we were united in marriage, we are now united in heart. Queen Saroldu will become my lover. Your wife and lover. She's an honorable adventurer. She's the child of a concubine, but there's nothing here that suggests that she can't make babies. My wife, Queen Sorodio, is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. It's hard to believe she would ever betray me like this, but could it be that I am not the father? Um, maybe I look into this uh, discreetly. I'm going to take a discreet look. Suspicions laid to rest. It seems that my fears have been 
Unfounded. Good. Despite every effort on my part of my spies, I have found no indication that Queen Sarodu has been unfaithful. Unfortunately, she has found out about my suspicions and is very disappointed in me. Oh, whoops. Well, you know, some rough waters, but uh, sometimes you need some rough waters to have a fun waterbed, right? My spy master has come to me with the discovery certain that my vassal Mayor Lodari is scheming against me. Who? Jesus. Okay, let's let the traitor be known to all. We don't really need to act on that. He's just a mayor, right? He's just a crappy mayor. Alright, let's start swaying this guy. Against Duke Wojtek of Bohemia. We're gonna have to fight some peasants again in a minute. How are these guys doing with, like, the religious conversions and stuff? Not great. Okay. We gotta get some more control in the realm, generally, right? This is the first army of stick potat, stick potat, stick potatin. Okay, Amstetten has been culturally changed. That's good. We'll start working on Linz next. All these places. There's a couple places in the north that need to be done as well, but we'll start. We'll continue on in the south here, where we can actually. Hopefully, make some money. It. We've got to squash this rebellion as well. My newborn son is my my new heir. It's another Rory. Great. Okay. Well, we do not. Someone's plotting to kill me. Okay, we have to find out who is trying to kill me now. One of my mother's old acquaintances, acquaintances has arrived at court at her invitation. Who is this? She's a 61-year-old. She's a 24-year-old wandering irrational follower. Okay, let's find her something to do. The more the merrier, right? We need more people. We need a new marshal. Duke Bohodar of Greater Poland. Fuck. Who's actually any good at being a marshal? We don't really have anybody that great at being a marshal, right? Okay. Let's put this fool in here then. It's like some some young fool. Uh, who's this? Oh, right. Okay. Hideous. <laughs> What the hell? Sure. Get married. <laughs> That's fine. Jesus. Hey, Randall Adner, there they come. 15 more gift subs. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Wow. Make sure you thank Rand Randall Adner, chat, if you got one of those gift subs. What a gent. Claim throne. My vassal, Duchess Bahuknuk, has laid claim to the kingdom of Bohemia. Bohunka claims to be descended from none other than Chick. She believes that is all the reason she needs to be named ruler of the kingdom of Bohemia. As if I will ever give up my realm without a fight. She has a press claim. You're doing great, Dad. Good luck in Twitch rivals. This what does your training bitch. regime look like? Hello, L. Lots of love. Are you You're naming kids after us plebs in this game? I wish my name to be of great import to Rod. All right. They disbanded. You're looking at my training regime right now. Chancellor, Duke Wojtek. All right, Wojtek, in you go. Make us proud out there. Make us proud. Hey, Bob, thanks so much for the gift subs, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we have uh, basically no chance in hell of winning uh, Twitch Rivals, so a uh, training regime is not required. You know what? We're just going out there to have some fun. You know what I mean? Santikins, thanks for the 10 bucks. And Bob, thanks again for the gift subs. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Don't be so negative. I'm not. 
I'm not being negative at all. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Okay, we have to deal with this Pomeranian, right? We need some money as well. Christ. Who can we imprison? Where is she? This is her here, right? The Duchy of Pomerania. We've got an 8% chance of murdering her. Okay, let's see if we can dig around for secrets. There we go. Duchess Bohna. See if we find something about it. Um, Hungary want to get into an alliance with me. No, I do not want to ally with Hungary. They are nothing right now. I want to ally with these big boys. King Trifon the Third. Actually, I want my son and heir to marry into um, into this, so that maybe he can inherit some of it at some point. Hungary needs friends too. Well. They've come knocking in the wrong area. Look at down here. Vastly inferior as well. Let's fucking go for this. It's gonna drive us into debt chat, but... Fine, we'll make some gains here. Rory the Fourth. He's going for it. I know, I really need to fix my army, yeah. We need to just get the economy up and running. Actually, we don't even need nearly this many. My domain, extort subjects, uh, vassal tax contribution, cutting cornerstones, domestic affairs, vassal levy contribution, like will soon forgiven. What's the one where we can revoke titles? It's like around here somewhere, right? It's like, it's probably one of these ones. Claim thrown against your, your leash. Okay, Administrator is a, is a pretty good tree, isn't it? We'll keep going down Administrator. The Administrator route. Okay, let's disband these guys. So that we're not losing too much money. And in fact, we're gaining money. Okay, Queen Saroldu is once again... Uh, pregnant. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, Countess Christina of Mersenburg has brought forward evidence that Rory is not my son, but was fathered by my vassal, Mayor Lodari. Oh, Sarordu, how could you? I have loved you and our son. Your son, in one crushing blow, you are both taken from me. Um, I almost wish I never knew. Okay, let's uh, question um, Sarordu. Queen Sarodu's secret is revealed. Oh my god, Rory's not even my son. Unbelievable, Sarodu. How could you do me like this, baby? After all of that investment. <laughs> After all of that investment. Oh my god. Okay, it might succeed. She's a known criminal. She'll leave my court. I have a 45% chance of getting her into jail. Should I divorce her? I should probably divorce her, right? It's going to cost me 100 religious points. Okay. I've divorced Soroldu. Now we must find a new wife. Um, We need to make... Mm. <laughs> 
Maybe we'll make some big Rory's. You want to make some really big Rory's? You want to make some Mega Rory's? All right. Let's do it. Excellent. Wedding celebration. We want some money. I'm not paying for my own wedding. I will not do it. Um, right. We need you to help us manage the domain. She's not very good at. Youthful vigor. Keep it short and professional. Okay. Don't waste any more time on that then. Oh look, he loved that. He's gained 10 opinion of me. Concerned for my current war, my friend Count Boslav has paid out of his own treasury to aid my efforts. Fuck yeah. Pays to have friends like Count Bohuslav, right? I'm gonna sort out this uh, this army very soon. We gotta do it, right? It's just too much. Oh yeah, we gotta disinherit our, uh, our bastard child, right? We can denounce him as well. Okay. We can't imprison our child, but maybe we can like send him away. Oh, it costs a lot to denounce them as well, doesn't it? Just to sign him a guardian in another court. My new wife. Health. You gotta choose a guardian from your court. Okay, let's send him to Dietrich Ashadamdar. A hideous man. Okay, that's fine. There's no point. I just want to send him in a boat into outer space. My wife is, is ugly as dog. A noise like that of an assassin stumbling on a chamber pot pulled me out of my late night slumber. Spotting my would-be assailant, I shouted for my guards in a composed and manly fashion. As they arrived, a brief struggle ensued, resulting in the intruder's death. This was undoubtedly the work of that adhorned knave Lando. Okay. We gotta get rid of Lando. He's our rival. Fucking Lando. Okay, this is my newborn daughter who might be a giant. Penny Peterwacker. The daughter has become my heir. Was that Soroldu? Oh shit, yeah, you're right. It is Soroldu. I inherited the Duchy of Moravia and another title from Duke Dalibor. Nice. We got Brno. We can't afford to keep any of these places. Okay, let's give Olamuk to somebody and Brno as well, right? Um, who are we going to give this to? Let's give it to Strakvas. K 
Okay, and then let's give Brno to um, Jaromir. And then Strakvas here, we're going to grant you the title, uh, the Duchy of Moravia. Four vassals will go under him. The dude loves me. Okay, good. That sorted out our domain as well. Okay, let's not siege this place because it's fortified. I don't have any siege equipment. We're losing a little bit of money here. What's uh, What marshal do we have? Duke Strakvas. Okay, this guy ought to do some work. This is, he's, a, he's a good marshal. Ay, ay, ay. That's another one. That's another big, a big fortification here. Okay, pikemen will, will hang on to one regiment of pikemen. Let's get rid of these guys as well. Sort this out. Okay, that's fine. What was that? What's going on here? We can ransom. We can negotiate alliance with Prince Rory. Huh? 12 titles I'm about to inherit. That's crazy. All right. He's two years old and he actually has holdings. The hell? Oh, hang on a sec. No, no, I'm not holding all the titles. I'm only holding some of them. I've got I've got enough tight I've got as many titles as I can hold basically. Well I can always hold more kingdom titles, but Holy crap. What is this war? Fuck me, man. have to siege this as well emptiness inside we can lose 300 bucks and lose 12 stress or we could become a comfort eater or just remain stressed and try to get rid of it okay Oh, that was a close fight, actually. Surprisingly. We pick up his siege almost done, though. That's pretty good. How am I liking this game so far? It's great. I'm really liking it. Okay, this war should be done. Perfect. Force these demands. Let's disband the army. Alright, we have to give away some of these places. Well, okay. Bohemia is almost stretching from north to south. We're almost touching like the Adriatic Sea here. And we're up here in the um whatever this is. Uh, the what 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 sea is this again? I can't remember the name of it, but it's it's one of them anyway. Okay, you can have this, young man. Vesebor. 
and clagon fruit. Great. We have to create a duchy down there. Corinthia. My wife has informed me of an obscure law in the county of Sicilian that states none but the king may be its protector. Normally such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Duchess Bohunka, my vassal and current ruler of the county of Sicilia, in her place. This is the one who has a claim on the kingdom. I get an unpressed claim on the county of Sicilia, but I gain stress. Or I could get her to like me more. She can keep the title because I can't really take it right now anyway. Right. So this duchy will get grant to him. Okay, nice. Lovely, lovely Bohunka. That's right. Good old Bohunka. Okay, we're actually making some money now, which is pretty good. Uh, we need to create um, some Onagers. Some Onagers. We need 80 bucks for it. The map. How close am I to dissolving the Senate and declaring a galactic empire? Pretty close. All right. The faith in the county of Wien has been changed. Good. Like a good book. Let's try that. All right. So the last thing that we need to do here is get the control in order. And then our capital county will be in good shape. Okay, we want to start doing some of these places too. That should be fine. Okay. No, I don't have... Uh, yeah, no, I do have seniority her inheritance now, actually. Yeah. Uh, or a form of it. I, I don't think I've enabled it. I need to do that still. Thanks for reminding me. Getting personal. Oh yeah, no, I gotta get my, uh, I gotta get my vassals, um, in line before I change this, but yeah, then I can change the house seniority. So currently I have a daughter, Penny Peterwacker, who is my daughter and heir. How old are we now? 28. Rory the fourth. He's in good shape, old Rory the fourth here, I think. Watch him die as soon as I say that. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Instantly dead. This is not a new run. No, this is still the current one. Okay, so this is Waldensian populists about to rise up again. Oops. Okay, that's good. These stacks are getting bigger and bigger, aren't they? Holy crap. Uh, not great timing for this, but whatever. Linz. Nice. Okay. Hang on a second. We want to make sure that the places that we own are converted. And they are for now. That's good. Start going there. Alright. 
have to fight all these guys in the fields. Likeable? Yeah. I think this administration tree is especially useful as you get bigger, right? When it's harder to, to really stay on top of your, all of your vassals, especially when you have a ton of them. Count Jenik is dead. Okay. Your version of the game is bugged and everybody except you and your children are naked. <laughs> nice. How can you get mad at a naked person beating you on the field of battle, right? Okay. Princess Penny Peterwacker is charming. Where the f where the fuck have these guys risen up from? The Bavarian Waldensian uprising. I can't even find where their where their stronghold is. Do we have like some some lands that I'm not aware of or something? There's some there's there's some guys down here. Fuck, we're in so much debt. This army costs a fortune to maintain, especially because we're we don't have a great economy to begin with. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try to get out of debt. Oh, uh, what? Really? How did this happen? <laughs> Who did we sleep with? Hello? <laughs> what? My ex-wife. Oh, I'm still sleeping with my ex-wife, right? She's my lover. Hey, look, Soroldu's been captured. Okay. Shit. The damage has already been done, though. It's too late. I forgot to break up with her. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we should be able to get some money here. 85 bucks to take it. And 100 bucks. Alright, that gets us... Out of debt, at least. Okay, good. The ways of Rod. Rory is in jail. That's okay. Rory has been... Uh, Prince Rory Rorify of Bohemia. He's been disinherited because he's a Basque... Well, he's not... He's not mine. He's like Mayor... Randy Bobandis or something. I don't know. The Princess Penny Peterwacker is uh, fully mine, though. At least we think so, anyway. And then hopefully I can make a uh, some some giant children with this giant woman. <laughs> Look at the size of her. That's a huge bitch. Okay, let's go feasting. A fucking what a unit. Okay, good. I need to lose some stress here. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, Countess Eusebia of Reggio Calabria has brought forward evidence that Penny Peterwacker is not my daughter. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe it. Alright, we've lost 24 stress there. Both of my kids. Um, okay, we can afford this. That's fine. Great. We're no longer overwhelmed by stress. 
feels good. Someone's plotting to kill me. I know who it is as well. Where is this chump? Where is this guy? He's not even a vassal anymore, right, Lando? We stripped him of everything. Is he still in my court, though? I can't imagine that Lando would have Queen Justina. I don't know where he is, actually. Well, here he is. You're doing great, Dad. Where the fuck is he? He's in Colon. <laughs> oh, he's down here. He's in Hungary. <laughs> oh, she likes me now. Soaring ambition. Okay, hang on a second, though. We should be able to do this Confederate partition. We can change this to house seniority. We have this now. Under house seniority succession, the oldest member of your house will inherit all your titles. Oh, this is the oldest member of my house. So, all of the late ruler's titles will be given to the oldest eligible member of their house. House is a branch of members on the bigger tree of a dynasty. Houses are created by rulers who no longer wish to answer to their current house head rather be the head of a new house. Although house have their own names and coat of arms, they still share renown. And other members of the dynasty are valid player heirs. Yeah, we want Primo for oldest son. But this titles will be given to the oldest eligible member of the house. So house seniority, this is something that um, this is this is something that we get from being Czech, right? This is like the prince prince around the table thing or whatever. Hereditary rule is just partition. Under partition succession, your titles will be divided equally between your children. Player always being given the primary title, realm, capital, and any direct du jour titles associated with it. Okay, we're just going to have to watch how many kids we create. Fuck me, she's 30. She still hasn't made a single giant baby. Maybe she's a giant, but she just has, like, a, a very petite birth canal. Maybe that's what she's worried about. You know what I mean? No, not dry. Maybe she's just got some small... She's big on the outside, but small on the inside. You know what I mean? Maybe she's worried about that. The crushing pain that'll ensue. <laughs> Go to another feast. Nice. Okay. Maybe we're firing blanks. Maybe. I don't want to have an alliance with Randy Bobandy's um, son, okay? That's not even really my son. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. We can demand a payment from him. There. He had to pay me 60 bucks. His obligations have been paid off, baby. Okay, let's see if we can raise some more money here by fucking around with uh, with our dudes, right? Let's see if we can find out some stuff about um, this guy. We want to get some. We want some hooks so we can make money off of them, and then we can put that towards creating bigger and better things. Look, we're actually making some money here. This is good. Okay, we gotta get some um, farms and fields constructed. That'll be a nice big tax boon for us. Am I being sieged? No, I am not. It's um, it's my vassals. My vassals are being sieged. They're fighting amongst each other.
I know we do need some big kids, but Count Vlachmik is scheming against me. Who is this asshole? He's my vassal and he's my champion. What a bitch. Do I want to ransom him for 28 bucks? He will not convert. Okay, let's ransom him for 28 bucks. He doesn't hold anything now, right? Because we we took his um we took his his county, whichever county was his. Which was it? So like one of these ones down here or something? No. What the fuck? Krems, Schaumburg, Borsod. Oh, it is down here. Look at this. It's like right here. Okay, who are we going to give Borsod to? We have to give it to somebody. We don't really want this. Let's give it to Miss Didra. There, this guy actually likes me. Right. Schaumburg is making some money. Amstetten is not. Krems is not, really. And Ho... Hohenhau is not either. We have some work to do here. Somebody's trying to murder me as well. Okay, I don't want this alliance. I don't want too many alliances, right? Seduce my wife. What about if I romance her? Okay. Let me start seducing my big old wife. Should have kept Prague. Uh, I think we can build something better down here, honestly. We got a 75% chance. Those are good. Those are good odds. Ah. Hereditary rule has been discovered. So, succession. Confederate partition. We could just go for partition. Younger children will have titles created for them if enough land is held. So this will... Okay. So confederate partition was the problem we had yesterday. Where the title was created for the kingdom of Poland. Under partition... That shouldn't happen, right? We can change to this and then at least it won't create titles out of, out of nowhere, right? House seniority, I don't think we really want. I mean, we, we want the oldest child to inherit, right? But this is going to take a while to get to. But for now, partition will just have to do. I have a bunch of kids that aren't mine. I know, I can, I can, I can just kill them or do something. Okay, let's change to partition. Right now, Penny Peterwacker gets everything. Okay. I've been made aware that Queen Justina is very close to her mother, Olga. Gaining her favor might help me catch Justina's attention. Okay. We can pay 60 bucks to Olga. Budding interest. Or we get a weak hook. Olga gets a weak hook on us and gains 25 opinion of us. I think I'll spend the money. I don't want her to have a hook on me. Well, give her some money. It seems that Justina has not taken notice of my generosity towards her mother. Oh. <laughs> what a waste. What a fucking waste that was. Holy crap. That could have gone a lot better, no? Okay. Let's increase this size to two. 
so that we have more sieging capability. Actually, let's put it up to three so that we can siege better, right? We can breach the walls and then we can assault forts. Everyone appreciates a gift. Okay. Let's give, let's commission some, okay, let's do an embroidery featuring her house crest. She'll love that. She likes her mom, right? So maybe she'll like that. Yeah, she thought that was great. Okay, budding interest. Here we go, baby. Um, okay, very well, you know, best. That's fine. All right, the money is kind of rolling in now. This is good. It's lots of... Lots of shitty things to, um, to keep on top of this time, right? Vassal tax contribution. Collect tax effectiveness plus 25. Okay, let's get some more money in from our vassals. I don't think that that's actually made much of a difference. Uh, what's our dude doing here as well? He's meant to be sorting out control levels here too, right? Alternative tastes. Lately, regular activities have not done it for me. Physicians have recommended various ointments, but nothing excites. I don't want to get a deviant secret. I'm better than this. Okay. I don't want a deviant secret to be used against me in the future. Okay. What about we get, we confide? Maybe Jiri will support me. Okay. This is a good stress buster. Confiding in other people. We got a good friend here, Jiri. We got an available dynasty uh, legacy. Chance of reinforcing congenital traits. 30%. Popular opinion plus 5. Dread gain plus 20%. Prowess and knight effectiveness plus 15%. Uh, marriage acceptance plus 30. Fertility plus 10. Bounteous loins. Education traits, spouse opinion, dynasty opinion, no prowess lost from age. Chance of inheriting bad congenital traits minus 30%. Chance of new bad congenital traits minus 30%. Select a congenital trait to become more common in the dynasty. Okay, yeah, let's go with this. Oh, look at this. What a nice painting. Okay. A reading. Something pious, like a small book on theism. Okay, well, she is of our religion. Let's be entertained. On the judgment of the stars would give us a chance to learn. Okay, let's try something pious. Oh, her attention is slipping. She didn't like that. She wanted to um, read on the Judgment of the Stars. I would never have guessed that. She doesn't seem like the type, you know. She just doesn't. She just doesn't seem like the type. She's got a huge jaw, yeah. I'm ready for this feast. I'm ready for this feast. I don't think a feast is happening. She's actually Jay Leno, yeah. She does look like Jay Leno. My cousin Balba is dead. Who's this guy? I don't want a fucking alliance with this guy. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. She's she's pretty weak right now. Okay. I can't go to war right now though. We just we still don't have enough money. Do do. Okay. Let's do Salzburg now. Okay, so we're doing the cultural conversions, and we're still working on the religious conversions, right? Um, do we want to become lovers? 
We have an 85% chance of becoming lovers. Why don't we just lay with her anyway and not become lovers? We don't need to become lovers with our wife, right? We just want to have sex with her so we can make uh, a giant baby. <laughs> we just want to have a giant heir. Yes. We do want to just give... We just want to give her a, a, good, a good tumble and make giant babies. <laughs> make them big. Yeah, that's right. We're going to make them huge. We're going to make uh, big old babies. You hope the baby's jaw doesn't make the birth troubles. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, I don't know. I'm not passing the baby personally, so maybe it doesn't matter. Is there anything that can be taken over here? What about these guys here? What's this? Some horse lords? With no allies? Nothing? Ah, we'll just let the fucking vassals do it. They're bound to get it, right? They're already fighting over here. Why is Roy's face all messed up? He got in a fight while he was on a pilgrimage. He got in one little fight and his uh, ex-lover got scared and said, um, I'm going to have affairs with uh, all of the mayors in, in your realm and create babies that aren't yours. And that's how he became the, um, the cuckolded um, king of Bohemia. High Chieftain Adar has lost against High Chieftain Hakon. Yeah. Um, Franconian Waldensians again. All right. It's like a constant thing. Every fucking couple of years, these guys rise up. Gotta fight them on the beaches and fight them on the streets and fight them in the pubs and fight them in the hospitals and the police stations. Wherever they may roam. Oh, we got him. That's a good, that one ended quick. Nice. We didn't lose that much money. Um, do we want to create the Duchy of Kuyavia? Where is this? I don't think it's worth making. I don't think we have any vassals that would benefit from it, right? There's not much need to. Military power, independence. The Polish Asatru populace, Czech Waldensian populists. Okay, we need these religious conversions to happen, right? This guy is no good. We're going to assign this guy here. Zretz. He's better. He endorses me as well, which is good. All right. Spy master and everything is fine. Um, what's this guy working on right now? Where is he? Ah, he's in Ho Hohenau. Hohenau. I don't want to negotiate uh, an alliance with Prince Rory because Prince Rory is not even my child. It was a, he's a scam. Oh, look at Tyrol here. Vastly inferior with no allies. These are... Um, all of these, like, little counties that have broken away from Bavaria. Hey, look at West Francia is back online as well. And England is actually starting to somewhat form again after the fucking border mess it was before. Jesus. 
We might be able to move in on Bavaria, but again, we kind of want to like stabilize a little bit more. Get our economy up and running. Make some more improvements and stuff. Like crop fields, this is good, but we'll upgrade crop fields, for example. Keep making some improvements here. Control level's not quite there in the capital. It's like all these things will contribute to some more money, right? Already it's building up 11.6 plus, which is good. This is still the first game, yeah. This is still the first one. It's annoying because we have to do all these conversions and stuff to get the population under control down here. Let's see if I got prisoners. Oh, finally. Okay, Queen Justine is actually pregnant, chat. Let's see what kind of giant baby we make. Hopefully a giant baby is coming in. Counselor opinion? Pregnante. I want to see some big old babies. The giant trait. Forder as well. Look at this. She can cross water without advantage penalties. It's because she's so fucking big. <laughs> They're just like a full river. It's just like a little... It's just like a little creek to her. <laughs> just steps right over it. It's huge. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. It is though, you're right. It's a it's a massive bitch. What else am I saving for? Nothing really, right? What's the what's the deal here? There's nothing built here. My son and heir! There we go. Okay. Alright. It's my proper son and heir. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's not somebody else's. Hopefully nobody else has been sleeping with my giant bitch. First of the giant race. Yeah. It's yours. Come on. Hopefully she doesn't sit on the child. No, hopefully not. Okay, I think the I think control in Wien is about to be all right. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're back in full control here. That's good. So development is at 12, which is pretty nice. Levies, taxes, and supply limit is increased. This is great. Popular opinion is fine, and faith and culture is all what it should be here now as well. This is great. Okay, perfect. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get our marshal, who's very good, to start training up some uh, some champions. Because our current champions are not great. We could train up some new ones. And um, hopefully have them replace some of these ones that aren't, aren't too good. And then we'll have a better army overall, right? We have some onagers. We have some light footmen. And we have some pikemen as well. What else do we want in here? Some light horsemen? What are horsemen good at? What about some Zbrojnosh? They're good in hills, mountains, forest, and not so good in wetlands. They do 34 damage, 20 toughness, and they screen for 10. Uh, they're pretty good, actually. 34 damage is crazy. Light horsemen, pikemen, armored footmen. God, these guys do a lot of damage. Okay, let's create some uh, some of these. Yeah, we've got the we've got the catapults for sieging as well. We're we're good. We're trying to build up some of these places. So we got bastions and curtains. We want to 
save up some money and get some farms and fields so we can get some uh, some some good tax money in and then we'll start uh, building some improvements around uh, levies and stuff as well right this will be good right so my current heir is uh, is Rory Prince Rory of Bohemia who has not inherited he's he's inherited robust and quick which is really nice actually um, so the succession is safe for now because he only has a sister and my wife is 37 Justina's 37 she could have another child possibly but we'll see all right this is good this has been a, a good a good Okay, yeah, we'll go to a piece as well. We'll do some distress. This has been really good, actually. Getting the economy back on track and stuff. Start raising the crown authority so that our vassals don't fight amongst each other so much. And then we can start looking outwards at expansion, right? Once we have, like, a, some, some good coffers. Oh, no. Bohuslav has died. He was one of our good friends. Did I ever see the Puddle of Mud distilled to 18 seconds video? Yeah, I think we watched it, actually. It's pretty funny. It's a good one. Horse economy three, stable markets. What's going on in Amstetten? Nothing. Although there's no way to conclude. Fuck's sake. Count Brodick of Havelberg has brought forward evidence that Rory is not my son, but was fathered by my guest, Andre. For fuck's sake. Oh my god! What is with these fucking women? Why is this happening? Constantly! <laughs> Fuck's sake! Another one! That's the third one! <laughs> Shit! Shit! What a bitch. <laughs> it had to be done. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it had to be done. Okay. We're going to have to divorce our wife here. It's going to cost us a bit of money. Okay, we have to find a new wife. What about a beautiful wife? She's 22 years old. She's Slovian, though. She's Not only is she Slovian, she's of a different faith as well. Okay, Horislava. <laughs> Oh, look, it's King Kusan of Hungary. Okay, sure. Sure. He doesn't like me much. All right. Do we want 155 bucks or 300? Yeah, we want 155 bucks, right? We can build some more improvements. Okay, let's build some farm fields here. We're building some more stuff in Krems. Pastures, fell pastures. Oh, that's not Krems. Okay, let's build some farm fields here as well for some more Mahonies. And Hohenhau is coming online here as well. What's built here? Hamlets, hound pens, homesteads, bastion curtain walls, plush and exotic carpet. Okay. We'll stay extra vigilant and take the money. Romance her this time so that she won't cheat. Does that actually work? Our predicted success chance is 0%. <laughs> oh no. Wait. She's a drunk. <laughs> She's a drunkard. Oh no. Oh no.
She's callous and she dislikes generous. Okay. We're just gonna have to play this one out naturally. <laughs> she drinks while she's pregnant as well. We may just have to settle with Rory, who is not even ours. Murking up the bloodline. The the di he's gonna murk up the dynasty. He might be able to make his own um he might be able to make his own, um, whatchamacallit, though. Um, cadet branch, right? He might be able to do that. Visit the market. Talk to a confidant. I don't really want to do this. Do you want to call a hunt? No. Do you want a pilgrimage? Invite claimants and champions? I don't need to do any of that. It's a, Penny is my child. Right. No, there was there, there were questions of my ex-wife whether Penny was my child as well, right? I don't think she is. Cutting cornerstone centralization. Levy reinforcement rate. Professional popular opinion. Domain limit plus two. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna go down architect so we can build some more stuff. We're 38. We still have a couple good years left. Rory is rowdy, apparently. We've been overwhelmed by stress, but we lost it almost straight away. What's this? This is the Crassonian conquest of the county of Timis. Where is Timis? Oh, look at this. That's hilarious. Okay. Sure. Oh my god. Kotani de Salzburg, my rival, is trying to kill me now. these people doing this to me okay is this actually happening Okay, let's see if we can get a, a good deal. A great deal, a fair deal, or an unfortunate deal. You're doing great, Dad. All right, we got a decent deal. Look at this place. It's got a full fucking castle down here, this guy. Third bastard child. Okay, we've got to get a good chancellor in. Count Kasaba Otefi of Arad. Sure. This is like this area down here, right? Oh my god. I don't think we beat this. He's got a he's got a good army, right? Castle Wolfenstein. Kasher Wolfenstein. Okay, we have a daughter. We have a daughter. Um, who are we gonna name this one? Um, a good Czech name. Eliska. <laughs> Rob XT. No, come on. Okay, how about Penny? How about Penny? We think that this one might be my actual daughter as well. Don't name them, you'll just get attached. True, yeah. Oh. Look at that. 
I don't think we brought the uh, the siege equipment with us on this one. Okay. All right. We have a hostage. We had a hostage. Who's this? For 80 bucks. Oh yeah, this is my... Oh, we can't execute her either. You want to be a daughter? It's too late. It's too late. Too late for that. Alright. Good. A conversion has happened. Let's convert the people of Krems now. Crispy Krems. This is great. All right, so we got the crop fields built. Uh, let's go for some... Um, what next? Walls and towers would be good. More garrison? Yeah. Hello? Would you fuck off? Constantly popping up when I'm trying to do something. Jesus Christ. Walls and towers. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. I must see you again. Oh, no. Okay, we blew, we blew off some steam with Countess Jitka. Uh-oh. We are an adulterer. What? Some child from Lithuania likes us. We've become a famous reveler. We got so much money to burn now, chat. It's great. Okay, we're building fields here still. What about Amstetten? Fields, and then over here, we have Bastion Curtain Walls. We can upgrade our hamlets, but we don't have, um, I think we have to upgrade the castle. 840 bucks. Shit. A lot. All right, Duke Streckfast has been showing off a promising new recruit. Great, it's this guy. With 12 prowess. All right, let's get him in. We've enlisted him into the army. Oh my god. So many feasts. I think basically I'll sleep with somebody at every one of these because I have the adulterer trait. No, please do go on. The army. <laughs> what have I done? Sips slash slash help us bring back the spicy potato soft taco to a Taco Bell location near us less than three. Also rest in pieces the controller you were using playing God. <laughs> SPST, thanks so much for the donation. The controller's fine. It's still broken, but it's in good shape. Don't worry. What's going on here? Call to war. Hungary and Sapmi are going against Rab. Okay, no, I don't want to help them because I want to take that myself at some point. I'm just trying to stabilize a little bit more here and then we can go for it. Ah, oh, look, we're no longer wounded. That's good. All right, we're going to burn her in the name of Rod. We don't like witches. We don't want any witches around here, right? Can't vassalize this guy. We have a better chance of vassalizing people up here in the north, right? Fucking Rab has just been, like, untouched here. Rory has come of age. This is the first, the not the not true Rory. It's not the true Rory, right? This is the true Rory. He actually looks a little bit like me. I think we can live with that, right? There's no true Rory. I know, I know. I can't murder my kids. I can't do it, okay? They're still just little kids. You can't just murder a, a child. You're not allowed. No true roar yet. All right, fields have been made. Uh, let's get walls and towers here as well. Be good. Two years to build those bitches. In Krems. We can build, uh, what do we want next? 
Barracks. Barracks. Okay. Good. We'll start getting some more levies out of these. Out of these lands. Uh, what's my current wife doing for me? Managing my domain? She could probably do uh, some intrigue. Or maybe some um, some learning. There, that'll be fine, actually. She can do that. And then we have a better chance at uh, getting some of this. What are we What are we going for next? Manganels? Manganels. We want bailiffs? This is what we're currently fascinated in. By appointing bailiffs to enforce the king's laws throughout the realm, we can govern a large area more effectively than we could otherwise. We've got 18 years before we discover bailiffs. Okay, Schaumburg is done. Okay, so we've got all these places down here that we need to do. It looks like we've gained uh, some places here too. The vassals have been busy. Oh, look, the, va the vassals have been real busy. Look at this. We're starting to cut into Galicia Volhynia. Uh, we border uh, the Byzantine Empire now as well, which we might want to think about getting some of our my son and heir for okay what about my daughter no okay no eligible childs nice crowns nice crowns shouldn't we be educating my kids so that they gain better traits um yeah i, sh I probably should be yeah i don't want them to pick up the bad ones though what if they pick up the bad ones? Prince Rory. Okay, I'll... I'll train him myself. And then we'll get... Um, her... Educated by... Me as well? Sure. We don't really have anybody in the court who's like... Far and away amazing at anything. Except for me. Except for me. I'm the best. When your kids hit age 6, you can set their education focus by their portrait. The game doesn't alert you to this, and it's never explained. Oh, right, okay. So when they hit 6, you can actually change their education focus. So Prince Rory, right now, his education focus can be on stewardship. Okay, great. That's nice. Yeah, the game does not tell you about that at all. <laughs> it's good to know, though. Thank you. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? My vassal, Duchess Bohunka, has proven herself highly capable. Um, yeah, okay, sure. We'll go for encouraged improvements. That's fine. And we want to work our way down here, right? Professional workforce. That's good. The money is rolling in now, chat. Yeah, that's a very good tip, yeah. That's a good one. The money is rolling in. Penny Peter Whacker has come of age. That's nice. Okay, good. Penny Peter Whacker... We can't make alliances to the west because of our um, horseman religion. Sloviansk, and look at this. Catholic isn't uh, isn't really that prominent right now. Lollard, uh, Asatru, Suomenesco. Um, we've got uh, Mowaladi, uh, Orthodox, Tangri, Waldensian. There's a whole bunch. Saltosis, there's a whole freaking bunch here. It's great. Okay, let's go on a pilgrimage. We're going to Barlad again. Pack my bags. Tell the boys we're going to Barlad. Okay, we can lose 28 stress while we're out here. Um, we can gain 20 dread. Okay. Let's just lose all the rest of the stress that we had built up. That's fine. And have a nice, enjoyable time in Barland. 
Far lads on tour. I have walked the holy path. There we go. We are known for our dedication to our faith. This is great. We have to start building some holdings. Uh, we have all the public work stuff that we need. I think we can start building some churches and shit. Which would be really good. It'll help bolster up our, our core provinces as well. Our current wife is 27 years old. There's chances that she will create more child. Look at this. <laughs> Rory. Okay, at least this Rory kind of looks like me. This Rory... Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. My fucking bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. I can't believe that. That's the worst. Just fucked it. My son, Prince Rory, who's not even really my son, will arrange a marriage. You know what? He's on his own. He's on his own. He's got to figure it out, this guy. Marry him off. It's always the milk delivery guy. You know what? I think you're right. I think in this case, it definitely was the milk delivery guy. Alright. If I construct a new holding... Um, we have city planning, so I could create a new city here with 141 more dollars. Ernstbrunn, Brook, Padden. Do we want to create a, a city? We probably do, right? We could also make a, um, temple. We're missing 141 bucks and we'll gain a hundred. Uh, it's going to take four years to make this. Surrounded by a town of faithful peasants. I think we should do that. I think we need to start. If we're going to, if we, if we're going to have a chance at, um, um, reforming this religion, we're going to have to build some temples, right? City for cash and then temples after. Okay, we'll do cities first and then temples after. That's a good idea. Upgrade my current holdings. I can't hold the city. I think I... I know I can't hold the city. I have to give it to somebody, but it'll still uh, be within my holding, right? Cities you can never hold anyway, right? You need a mayor. Temples give the most amount of tax. Oh, look. Some problems in Bavaria. Bavaria are currently against Count Ludolf of Rothenburg for the war of Princess Hema's claim on the kingdom of Bavaria. Okay. Man, Bohemia's big. Temples give the most amount. Okay, maybe we'll build a temple then. <laughs> You can't play Venice in this. Um, okay, I've slept with uh, a 45-year-old woman. Okay, let's blow off some steam. What have I done? <laughs> Shit. There's probably some hooks that we could be getting here too, right? Once our domain goes up as well, we want to revoke this guy's title. Or at least find out something about him so that we can grab the title, right? Okay, Ernstbrunn, we're gonna make a temple. We're going for a temple, chat. We're building a temple in Ernstbrunn. We're gonna see. We're gonna. We're gonna see if this generates more tax, and then at least we'll get some uh, religious points for it as well, right? Okay. 
drawn to the flame. There's something peculiar about my steward, Countess Ifronzinzia. Yeah, she's 66 years old. Is it the way she smiles? The unmistakable peal of her laughter? Or perhaps untamed emotional nature? We can start a romance or seduction scheme with her. Or just get in the... Yeah, you know what? She's like 66 years old. As fun as it would be, chat. I'm not giving her a go, okay? It's gross. That's gross. It's gross and I'm not doing it. Any hole is a goal. Well, okay, but still I'm not doing it. We have to fix control in uh, Hohenhau. Hohenhau. To fully leverage from it, right? Am I going to be 60 soon? No, I'm 44. Double my IRL age. Seduced to make a legitimate Rory? We have pretty much a legitimate Rory um, in line here, right? This guy is going to inherit. There is some disputed heritage, which gives uh, house opinion and diplomacy a bit less, but it's fine. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay, I'm declining this invitation. I don't... There's nothing for me to do here. I don't need to blow off any stress. And my vassals are all doing the shit that they need to do, right? During the daily management of my realm, I've learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential. Um, I have a 53% of obtaining lost knowledge. I could get a, a weak hook on Duke Velen. Duke Velen, the f philosopher of Corinthia. Okay. Let's demand payment for this. 95 bucks. Thank you. I'll take it. She doesn't have enough gold. We have learned of a secret, though. Excellent intrigue skill. Oh, I can now claim title from this guy. Duke Conrad. Is this the guy that I want to claim it off of? No. Oh, weird. Okay, I can't do it for him, but I can do it to Duke Conrad. Weird. That is weird, isn't it? Does anybody understand what's going on here? Name the capital after you. What? It's on the wrong place. No, it's the county. I want this county. And it is Count Dalamere. I just can't have a claim on this county, I guess. I have no claim on this title. Weird, eh? Rory knows to turn the other cheek when needed. He must never let others walk over him. He's going to lose the trait for giving in Wrathful, but I'll gain some stress. Or he loses the trait for giving Gains Fickle. Oh, sorry. He'll gain Wrathful. Wrathful is Martial Intrigue and Natural Dread. Fickle is... Ugh. I hate that you can't mouse over these. Like, it sometimes works and then other times it doesn't. See? Like, it worked just before though, right? weird though that it kind of he's gonna keep the trait forgiving which gives him diplomacy learning prisoner opinion opinion of forgiving characters okay we'll leave him like that he's got to hold on it for two seconds all right i see
Oh, the background actually fills up. No, okay. Despite our best efforts, we failed to uncover any secrets. Gotcha. All right, I guess we'll go and grab Pitten. This guy is vastly imperi in imperior? inferior. Here come the boys. That was quick, yeah. That was a very quick one, you're right. And now, Pitten is ours. Shameful truth has reached the light of day. My friend Duke Jiri is copulated with Varva, a commoner from Lesser Poland. Such things cannot be accepted outside of a marriage. Oh my god, okay. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. I think he's in jail. Alright. What are... What, what, what is... What is Jiri? Let's negotiate his release. Um, Jiri, what have you done? We could banish him. Get out of here. I'm trying to figure out what's happening with Jiri. Okay, we'll ransom him. Ransom him. He loves me, this guy. He's my best friend. She's an insane craven. She's got a claim on Militz. This is my giant whore ex-wife. Torture my ex some more? No, no. One torture was enough for us, I think. Uh, okay, I don't want to go to it. Actually, you know what? I have a bit of stress. Let's go. We'll go for it. We've got nothing else to do. I'm trying to build up some money here. Um, okay, we'll have an interesting conversation. Um, we'll lose our, some stress here. Okay, good. Oh, my lord. This is a bit of a worry, isn't it? <laughs> Shit. He doesn't have any new children. He hasn't made any new babies. His army's not that much bigger? No, it isn't really. You're right. Considering the size of them. Do we want to, do we want to gra grab a duchy? The duchy of Arab. The duchy of Rob. It's going to cost us 750 crown points. Um, now that we're making some money, we can probably, actually, we don't really want to pull our dude off of um, faith conversion though, right? Because we got to get these fucking Waldensians out of here. Spend the prestige instead. This guy's like pretty much dead, right? He's got one ally. I don't really need to do this right now. Granary infestation. Control level changed by plus 25 in Hohenau. Hohenau. Yeah, okay. 
But we'll get resentful serfs. Okay, let's go for this. Because then we get some um, religious points and stuff too, right? I mean, we could have... We, we would have had the penalty for getting the control level capped off there. But I don't know if it makes a difference. We can modify some contracts on Duke Cory. I think I can only claim titles in my de jure um, counties and duchies, right? I think that's why we can't do it down here. Okay, she wants me to have a host a feast. I must see you again. This is a 53-year-old woman. Let's make let's make the most of this moment and blow off some steam together. Okay, halt, we will talk about this later. We get some free prestige from that one for being diplomatic. Until next time. Everybody gained 20 opinion of me. That was a feast to remember. <laughs> nice. Good. Shameful truth has reached the light of day. My cousin Duke Conrad has copulated with Countess Boleslava of Bytum. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. Okay. All right, we might be making a big change over here then. Let's see. So currently I hold the Duchy of Salzburg. We might be taking Bohemia back because I can easily claim stuff. And now that we're making some money, I can, I can actually feudalize it myself, right? So let's just see. Prisoners. Duke Com Conrad of Pomerania. Countess Boleslava of Bytum. Oh my god. Who's this? Oh, this is my... This is Jiri's... <laughs> child, I think? What the hell? And his wife? <laughs> A content fool. Okay. Pomerania. Let's just ransom him out for a hundred bucks. And her as well. They served their time. They served their time and they've paid for some stuff to happen. Let's get Countess Domoslava. Alright, Domoslava, thanks. Um, we can ransom two more prisoners as well, but uh, Jiri can't afford to pay for them. So we'll make some money off of that later, right? Uh, we can demand a payment from Duke Cory. He's got 71 bucks for this hook. Okay, great. Um, we could imprison a bunch of criminals. And, uh, we could claim back Bohemia whenever we need to from Duke Cory. Actually, I just sold the hook. I probably could have taken the duchy back from him with the hook, right? He'll 100% give it back. That's okay. When we're ready, we'll take it back. Release people for hooks and then sell the hooks. They normally can't afford to pay the hooks. That's why you can't ransom them in the first place. Uh, do we want him to keep temperate? Stewardship plus two and a small boost in health? Yeah. That's fine. It looks like we're involved in some wars in or around Hungary. I can get involved in these if I want to, but... Where is this? The county of Kiev. Look at all these gains that have been made down here by this guy. Prince Kasaba Otefi of Grodno. 
What the fuck? I just don't know if I can be bothered. Like, he looks like, um, oh no. Queen Horse Love is pregnant at the age of 32. Oh man, I hopefully it's not another boy. Hopefully it's a, a, a legitimate daughter. Another legitimate daughter. That'd be good. I'm just going to let these guys fucking sort this out. I really don't care about those those counties down there. At all. Do we have any claims on this guy? Wow. We've got a de jure county that we can fight him for. He doesn't have a big army. Why don't I want a son? Because the uh, it fucks up all the succession. I already have a uh, son with uh, legitimacy issues. Um, and unless she creates me like a, um, a pure son with no legitimacy issues, then uh, that could be fine. But the one that's growing up now seems fine. It's a fake, a fake son. Do I feel that I have legitimacy issues? IRL. No, I am 100% legit. I'm too legit to quit, in fact. Yeah, I can't afford to disinherit them. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Ah, it's another daughter. Okay. After an ancestor, Margarita Blahomira. How about Susan? There, that's a good... That's a strong girl's name. Fucking Susan. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, how is this... Ernsbrunn. We can construct some new buildings here for some more... Um, tax. Let's construct some farms and fields. For even more tax. And let's construct another holding here. Well, this time it'll be a city. We've got four years left. I can't really see the temple. We're building up the capital. Who's my celeb crush? I don't know if I have a celeb crush. I'm not sure if I have a, a celeb crush. Daughter. Who is married to Duke Jackus of Lower Cilicia. Uh, we might inherit some of this, actually. Um, how old is Penny Peterwacker? 22 years old? Sure. She'll accept a matrilineal on her grandson. Oh. Okay, this could be our chance here. We'll not accept. A different faith is a big problem here as well. This would have been a nice one, actually. We could have gotten him uh, on board. He's terrified of me as well. As well. We could have uh, married into an empire. Uh, I don't know, though. It's, it's huge. Yeah, but surprisingly, his army is not that big. Maybe he's got some financial troubles. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Invade his ass. Hey, Sips, there's a Twitch Rivals competition for Fall Guys tomorrow. Did you receive your invitation? Do you know what? And I'm not even joking. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm in it. I am in it. Uh-oh. We're gonna need a physician. 
We're dying. Okay, a hundred bucks. Gone into debt. Do more than what is necessary. A little brighter. Nice. How old are we? 48 years old. Damn. Damn. All the emotional blackmail worked. Yeah. Wait, do some of you guys not know about this? It is happening. Who are these guys? Some of these wars were winning and some of them were not. I'm not sure I'm too happy with these guys sieging the capital here. We have just uh, done a whole bunch of uh, upgradey stuff, though, haven't we? Um, what's this one? So that the one that we're winning is this one, but we're not winning this one down here. I guess we'll we'll go help out. Okay, we're no longer ill. This is good. All right. The County of Krems have finally been converted as well. Okay, let's do Amstetten next. Oh, man. Austria is almost fully converted to our ways. This is good. Okay, thank you. We're in debt, but we're not in as much debt as we were, right? I think we could, let's just fucking peace out of this. Let's just surrender this. Sure. I just don't give a shit about this. It's not worth even going into debt for, right? It was just some fucking shitty county, like, down here or over here or something. Like, it doesn't matter. Our vassals are out doing stuff, though. Count Peter. He doesn't have enough gold. Fickle. Oh, Penny is going to keep the trade fickle. Diplomacy and stewardship. Sure. Solitude in the Great Hall. Rory will keep the... Okay, we don't want him to be shy. We, he could be impatient, right? Learning, prestige, hostile scheme, power, vassal opinion, opinion of liege, or gluttonous. Stress loss 10%. Okay, yeah, we'll go with this. We'll gain a little bit of stress for that as well. It's fine, though. Learning is so good. Yeah, I know, but we, we, we need to... The next in line needs to help develop this economy, right? We need horse economy, stable markets, three before we can start um, before we can start thinking of getting like an empire and stuff right we, we need to be very uh, we need to I mean we're, we're, we're pretty close to building an empire right we just have to conquer like up to about Estonia I mean focusing on the south probably I don't know I mean we could become we can maybe take Bavaria We 
take the entire duchy of Bavaria. Lithuania we need to get, and Estonia we need to get as well. This is to create this empire, right? The Wendish Empire. But, equally, if we head west, we could make the, uh, the Empire of Germania. Equally, we can make our own empire. We can, I think I think we can make our own um, empire. At some found a new empire. So actually, if we get one thousand one hundred and twenty-one bucks rounded up, which is not impossible, we can make the Bohemian Empire, right? And um, and then we can have um, and we can have kings within our empire. We can manage kings instead of dukes. Dynasty of many crowns. Bring fame and glory to the Primslid dynasty. Consecrate bloodline? What does this do even? By showing sufficient devotion and gathering the favor of the clergy, I can ensure that my dynasty is forever enshrined as a holy bloodline under divine protection. Wow. Religious vassal opinion plus 20. But we need to organize the faith for Slovyanska Pravda, or create our own religion. We could always break away from this and we could just create the religion of Rod. Just call it Rod. Yeah. We can still praise Rod, but give him his own religion called Rod. Yes. These are all things that we can do. That's not Bohemia. That's my wife. Um, do I want to go to a feast? Sure. Stitch this stress in case we need to do some title stripping. We'll do it. We need to feudalize Bohemia if it's not already done. The Duchy of Bohemia. Doodleby is still tribal. Pulzen is still tribal. Zetek is still tribal. These have all been feudalized, though. And Litimaris is still tribal as well. So that could be a nice big job for us to do. Bring them into the current century, right? Bohemia is looking big. Yeah, it's getting big. You need a fuck ton of faith to reform the religion. Maybe the next Rory can be a saint. Yeah, we should try to do something like that. Um, okay, I don't want to go to another fucking feast. One is enough. We, we, we have no stress, so there's not really much point in going. We don't really have anybody that we need to... Um, I'll tell you what, though. Let's put our... See if we can get some hooks on people and sell them. I want to try to get this county here as well, Freestadt. And then that'll be everything in the Duchy of Austria. And then once we've, uh, once we can grow the domain a bit. Check factions. Oh yeah, I haven't checked them in a while. Um, Waldensian populists, the independence faction led by some guy wearing like a bear hat. Polish Catholic populists and Polish Asatru populists as well. These are just all religious issues that we have, right? Shameful truth has reached the light of day. My cousin, King Conrad, has copulated with Countess Jana of Whelan. King Conrad of Lithuania. What? King Conrad of Lithuania. <laughs> Look at all his fucking claims. How the fuck is this guy a king? The 
This guy has been in house arrest for 17 years. Desperate. <laughs> He's a new man. <laughs> okay, that's good. We've converted him. Now let's demand payment. He doesn't have any money. Farewell. Okay. I'll ransom this guy out. He can only afford 12 of the 105 bucks needed to get out. For a favor? Now that we can do, right? Let's let him save up some money and then we'll demand payment from him on the hook. No, no, I'm not taking his land. I don't want it. I can't, um, I can't take it anyway. We need to find, um, we need to find, um, Prince Rory here, a spouse. But we have to find him somebody who has good uh, stewardship skills, right? You're like great, millions. Hey, does anyone know how to raise smaller amount of levies for wars against weak enemies? In CK2, you could raise them in specific counties, but I can only find the option to raise all. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I always just raise all. I just raise them all, and then I split them and disband them if I don't need them. It's uh, it's not not the best, but I don't know how to do it otherwise. Uh, we can. These are all low lowborn, except for uh, her, Aldaska Balassi, who is um, decent enough. She's stubborn, patient, and diligent. Um, and she is from House Balassi, by splendor and fortune. He'll still lose so much prestige, though, for that. I guess we want to marry him into somewhere kind of relevant. Like, maybe here? Latgalian. Latgalian. Impatient, content, and cynical. So, actually, he'll get a little bit of prestige from this. But then he has these traits that he can hand down too, right? And then we get a uh, an alliance as well. Okay, sure. Okay, good. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't create too many kids ahead of his big uh, inauguration, right? We don't want that to happen. Alright, there's nothing to discover there. Let's see if there's anything to discover in Pitten. Good old Pitten. Uh, what else do we need to build? We need more stuff. We need to build more things. Right? We've got uh, Hamlets that we can upgrade, but we need to have the keep. So we need to upgrade our keep. It costs 840 bucks. Gives us more tax levies, a bigger garrison, and the fort level goes up as well. Fort level going up in the capital is great, because then you don't get those scumbags that just, like, um, beeline for your capital to try to capture all your whores, right? I took Penny out playing with the bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a, a wounded doe. She later lashed out at me, thinking I had staged the whole encounter as some kind of test. All right, we don't want her to be paranoid. Let's let her be ambitious. Okay, that's good. I don't have the tech. Do I not have the tech for the upgrade? Oh yeah, we need battlements, you're right. Um, okay, fine. Fucking feasts, like every goddamn five minutes there's a new feast to go to, it's crazy. There's a bit to be gained from it, though, right? Uh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I'm not spending that. She can spend it. Okay. 766 bucks. Farewell, my vassal. We become a legendary reveler. Let's make the empire, shall we?
Let, we'll make the empire. We have kingdom titles under us, right? We've got Bohemia, Poland, and uh, Great Moravia. So potentially we hang on to Bohemia and we give Poland and Great Moravia to vassals, right? Let them manage those. And then if we can increase the crown authority as well, which we can't do it yet because we don't have royal prerogative. Um, if we could do that, then we can make it so our vassals aren't fighting against each other all the goddamn time. And then we might make some bigger gains out here too, right? So what's... Where's royal prerogative? Manganels, battlements. This is going to take 24 years to do. So it might not be done in Rory's lifetime, but certainly the next Rory can take over and see it happen, right? Fuck me. Look at all this stuff. Jesus. Holy crap. <laughs> He's got a big army now. Like over 20k. How big is the map for this game? It's huge. All right, Rory has come of age. They grow up fast. He has 12 stewardship, which is average. Uh, but he's got this disputed heritage. We're going to have to deal with it, unfortunately. Uh, he's got the fortune builder trait as well. And uh, he's ready to get married. They're married now. They have been married. Okay. That's fine. The map's huge in this game. Look at this. It's fucking gigantic. Look at these guys down here. It's not... It's just, oh, we've become obese. <laughs> Shit. Alright. We have to start losing some weight. Bring the skemony. Okay. Let's start losing some weight. We can found a holy order and become its patron. A holy order of your faith will be founded. Will be founded. You become the order's patron. We hold a kingdom or an empire. We have a barony in a city or castle that can be leased out as the holy order's headquarters. And our level of devotion is devoted servant. It's going to cost us 500 bucks and a thousand um, Floridsdorf. Change the headquarters to... F the Holy Order of Bohemia. So we found this. There can never be too many warriors dedicated to defending the true faith. I will honor Perun by giving those who would serve a home and arms. That's kind of cool. We can... Um... Oh my god. Defenders of Rod. Foreign first is skirting our territories like a pack of hungry wolves. If the ways of old are to survive, I must win the respect of the clans. Together we will raise a glorious war hall in Perun's honor. Alright, we have to hold a Slovenskan holy site. And at least four of our vassals have to be powerful vassals with its, at least a 60 opinion of me. But our level of devotion is, is fine. Slovensk. So we have to hold a uh, a holy site for our religion for this to happen. Holy sites are in Kiev, Novgorod, uh, Barlad, of course. Where the hell is Barlad even? It's far away. Oh my god, it's so far away. Kiev is a bit closer. Kiev is is currently in Estonia, I think. It's up here somewhere. Well, anyway, I think Kiev we can we can probably get to. That other place, not so much. Or is that no Novgorod? What did we inherit here? Schaumburg. Oh no, Schaumburg was always ours. Did we lose? What the fuck? What did I just gain, chat? That's put me over here. 
Amstetten, we also we always owned it. These five we always owned, right? Something around here. There's a holy site right beside me. All oh, right, okay. Duchy of Salzburg. What? Uh... Oh, Berig. Where's this? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. We'll grant this to uh, Bozedge, my nephew. You can have this. There. Treat it right. Sun slain in battle. That's fine. It's the other Rory. This the, this is the fake Rory. It's it's fine. That was the that was the other Rory, right? Not the not the real Rory. Hang on. This um this reminds me though. We have to make sure that Rory is free. We don't want Rory to die out here, right? Do we still have control issues down here? No, we don't actually. I think everything's fine. All right, so what, so what are we doing? Are we gonna save up for an empire then? We'll save up for an empire? We might as well. We'll make the empire of Bohemia and then we'll, f we'll figure out the religious stuff in the, with, the, with the next succession. Found the defenders of Rod. Okay, I'll do it. We'll, we'll do it. I could just straight up want some independence. Commander promoted. 16. Yeah, that's good. We'll try to promote some more commanders. Manorialism. I don't even know what that is. Farms and fields, so we can we can keep building stuff here to help with like taxes or levies or whatever. Um, impatience, shy or gluttonous. I think impatience probably the best of the lot, right? Has a fan ever come up to me but doesn't quite know where they've seen you before? Um, yeah, I've had that before. It's a little bit odd, but it happens. Oh, this guy is so good. This guy is really good at this job, right? Let's get him in here. He can start doing um, some conversions for us. Hopefully very fast ones, too. Oh, what's happening over here? Passau. Passau. You're going to go home and listen to your Bohemian rap CD. Okay. Sounds good. We can, oh, we can still found a holy order here as well. There can never be too many warriors dedicated to defending the true faith. I will honor Perun by giving those who would serve a home and arms. Should we just do this? No, I don't want to do it. You know what? I want to found a holy order when we create our own religion, though. I want to... Oh, I guess we can't leave this. We have to... So we're going to reform this. So I guess we could just make the holy order, right? <laughs> You want to make the empire first? Okay. We're missing 130 bucks. The empire. We can become Emperor Rory. And we can make some kings. Empire will help with the succession as well. That's true, actually. That's a good point. Especially if we have too many sons in the way, right? Succession is perfect right now, though. We only have the one um, heir. The rest are all goyles. And our my wife is probably not going to be able to have more kids pretty soon. Long live Emperor Rory. So, Rory the Fourth may become 
uh, one of the most important Rory's in the uh, in in the lineage, right? He may he may become the number one stunner because he founded the empire. Shame that he's fat, yeah, and that he was cuckolded like a million times as well. Yeah, he's he was just cucked to death. Doesn't have any legitimate children. All right, we create a new empire. Every kingdom title you hold becomes de jure kingdoms of our new empire. So that means that um, Great Moravia, uh, Bohemia, and Poland become de jure kingdoms of this empire. We're exalted among men. Uh, our realm size is 120 or more. No, it's not actually. It's only 85. But at least one of these, all of these, you hold three or more kingdoms and your realm size is 80 or more. All right. This is going to cost us 600 religious bucks, 2,000 prestige, and 1,200 bucks. A realm reforged. I have done what no one else could. I have united the lands of Bohemia with those of Poland and Great Moravia. All my vassals in Zretzi have finally gathered before my throne. I have earned this moment. <laughs> my god. It looks like he ate all three kingdoms. Jesus. I have earned this moment in their eyes and, more importantly, in the eyes of the gods. It is only right that I place the crown upon my own head as my servants, both temporal and spiritual, bow to me. Bohemia reigns supreme. Nice. Okay. So we're missing uh, some money. So we can do this holy order next. Need a good marshal here. Um, okay. Let's get this guy in. Let's get him training up the... Training up the boys. For Rory. Yeah, look at the size of the crown now. Empress Horislava of Bohemia. Emperor Rory of Bohemia. Let's make some kings. Let's get some... Let's make some kings, shall we? So we're going to take back the Duchy of Bohemia eventually. Which means that we'll give this one away, I think. Five out of six. Oh, weird. Yeah, she can't help manage that domain. Terrible. Okay. Nice T Rex hands. Give it away after I built it up. No, I'm an emperor. Instead of having like all of these dukes um, under me, I can have one king who manages all the dukes, right? And especially so once we've uh, researched this stuff and we get a higher crown authority, these kings won't fight amongst each other internally. They'll go out and conquer lands for us, right? Why build up Austria to give it away? I'm not giving Austria away. I'm going to keep Austria and I'm going to keep Bohemia. And I'm going to um, have uh, Great Moravia and Poland um, managed by kings. Yes? Is one king enough? No, we'll have two. We'll have two. We're going to give away this duchy, uh, the, the Salzburg one, because we don't really own any of these counties. Well, we own this one, but we'll hang on to it for now. But we'll give away um, this duchy and then take this duchy back. Duchy, the kingdom of Bohemia. Actually, the kingdom of Bohemia is... Yeah, that's fine. It's just the duchy. Inside the realm is the duchy, which is the same size as the kingdom. So we'll hang on to that, those, all those titles. We'll hang on to Kingdom of Bohemia and the Duchy of Bohemia. Kingdom of Poland we'll give uh, to somebody else to manage. And Great Moravia as well, right? Who do we want to give, uh, to give this to? We can grant this to... Um, Duke Jacuz. Of Lower Cilicia. Lower Cilicia is where exactly? Is Lower Cilicia part of Poland? De jure? Kingdom of Poland. 
Okay, cool. So we will grant this to Duke Jacuz, my vassal and champion. He already likes me enough, and he's already a powerful vassal. Okay, so Duke Jacuz becomes the king of Poland. Um, and he gains 80 opinion of me for 50 years. Great. So the kingdom of Poland... Uh, can then have uh, the Duchy of Lesser Poland, the Duchy of Greater Poland, and the Duchy of Upper Cilicia given to him as well, right? So we're going to grant vassals here. So we're going to give him uh, Lesser Poland. We're going to give him um, Upper Cilicia. We're going to give him uh, Greater Poland as well. That's great. Okay, good. And then now he can just manage the north here, right? We might even give him these as well to manage. He can just be like our our man in the north, right? He's not even from my family. He doesn't need to be. It's fine. Um, especially once we start doing like uh, like Crown Authority and... Um, and um, uh, whatchamacallit, like the succession stuff. It's fine. It's my most favorite game to play off stream. Right now, this. Right now, I've just been playing this a lot. Okay, so the county of Spreewald and the county of Cotbus need to be given to this guy as well. Where's Spreewald and Cotbus? Yeah. And we'll give him spree it's just it's just easier to organize like this right spree wald as well okay all right so that's far less vassals lining directly into me right i can give him a good job on the council keep him happy and he will just fucking manage this whole area up here right there look we'll make him our spy master he likes that. We'll keep him. We'll keep him keen. Nah, no, he's not gonna rebel. It'll be fine. If, in fact, he'll do good work up here. He'll he'll get he'll make some more gains for us, right? All right. Um, the Duchy of Moravia. We need to get this. Zen out of here. My vassal and treacherous villain. He's not my direct vassal, so I'd have to take it from here, from here, right? Can't take any of this stuff right now. This fucking kid. If I had to be in any franchise, what which one would I be in? I don't know. Oh no, she's pregnant again. How? Oh gosh, she's only 39. She can she still can be pregnant. <laughs> Dude Sim Alaska, yeah, that's the one I'd be in, yeah. I'd want to be in Dude Sim Alaska. in his allies. Look at how many men we lost. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's good though. 
It was worth it to get out of the war quickly, right? Oh, that's hilarious. All right. So this Count Tassilo becomes my vassal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, but this is, this is a pure Rory, right? This is an actual pure Rory. A pure-blooded Rory. There. Glory to the pure, the purest Rory. He doesn't have enough gold to pay for this. Okay, so now what we do is we go to military, champions, and where he was once forbidden, we allow him. And then we just hope that he gets slain in the field of battle. We're going to force him to fight. No, dad. No, take this sword. No, I don't want to fight. Take the fucking sword. Oh, dad. Please, I don't want to fight. I don't like to fight. Get out there. <laughs> oh, look. Penny's come of age. Nice. Okay, we're going to um, educate this child ourselves as well, right? And then when he becomes six, we can change his focus. Look, he's become, he's gained handsome and hale, which is pretty good. Look at all these claims he's got as well. It's fantastic. Right. So the Duchy of Salzburg, we're going to give to um, the County of Salzburg. We're going to give it to Count Arnst Arnost. Duchy of Salzburg. Here you go. You can have this, but I'll keep the county for now. So three vassals get transferred in under him as well. Okay, that's good. You need to select force instead of allow. Allow just has a chance he'll be in battle. Oh, right. Okay. Where is he? Okay, we have now forced him. Okay, everything else is fine here. We'll just ki we'll create this kingdom in a second as well. We give it to him in a second, but we don't want this to be part of it, right? We want to we want to retract this guy. This is considered an act of tyranny, but he will accept. All subjects will lose five opinion of me and will gain twenty six stress. He'll lose 40 opinion to me for 10 years because we retract this vassal. So then this guy will become my vassal directly, right? Okay. Right. Okay, good. So now, we grant him the title, the Kingdom of Great Moravia.
All right, so it's pro it's, it's looking like these two are gonna fight against each other uh, for for claims and shit like that, but that's fine. We'll leave them to it. Uh, hopefully, they'll go out and actually conquer some of this as well. So now I have two kings under me, and then I've also got. What is this normally part of? Okay, so we want to give this to him as well. Jil Jila Jila Land or whatever. What is this? J Jivlava. Oh shit. Okay, so this is owned by this guy and this guy. So we have to revoke this title from him. Using a hook. He'll accept. Without a hook, he'll accept. Um. But this is viewed as uh, tyrannical as well, right? They should call this game piss included. So I might as well take this, because I want this duchy back, and I'm going to need this title anyway. I take this from him, take the 20 opinion hit, and then I, and then I move him in under the king, right? That works better, right? And now, with him, I say, um, not grant title. I grant him a vassal of this guy. So that I don't have to manage him. And now I have this place, which is a tribal hold, uh, which I will upgrade. You're doing great, Dad! Not upgrade. I will uh, feudalize the tribe here for 500 bucks. I'll take uh, Feudalize the Tribe for 500, um, Alec, Alec Trebek. Okay, Duke Bosek of Bohemia. We're going to be taking this guy's title soon. So we don't want to give him this. What we'll do is um, Duchess Castava. We'll give it to, uh, to this guy for now. King Kojata. So we got both of our kings on the council here as well, which is, which is nice too, right? Hang on a second. Hey, it's Captain Disco. Thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Please, Father, name Rory the V's firstborn son after me. Emperor Disco must live. Okay. Elliot CM, thanks for 10 bucks as well. They should call this game Piss Included. All right. We're cleaning house here a little bit. We're doing a little bit of, of household cleanup. It's going... It, oh my god, she's fucking pregnant again? F41? Chat, I thought we married this, this woman. I did not realize that she was just going to, like, piss out children like she has been. Like, they, there's lots of them. At least we've made some pure ones, though, right? Prince Rory has been disinherited. Princess Susan... And Princess Penny, I think, don't have any um, any disputes, right? Who's this? Wow! All of these um, all of these matrilineal marriages. It's good, right? It's going to make the dynasty grow larger. Education focus for the future emperor. He's still young. He's only one years old. Great work, Dalamir. Keep up the good work. We've got some new gains here as well. Okay, so we revoke this title for now. This is an act of tyranny, even though I th think I have a claim on this, do I not? Oh no, I don't have a claim on it, but I need to get the claim on it, right? So I need to claim the title. Unpress claim on the Duchy of Bohemia. Yeah, now I revoke the title. 
So now I won't be seen as tyrannical. And I use my hook on him so that I don't need to fight him. Okay. Good. All right. We're far over our limit now. Um Okay. We'll take the 83 bucks, right? Take this 83 bucks so that we can start uh, feudalizing some of these places. Prague itself is feudalized. Where does this come under? Oh, he's my direct vassal. So this is, this is normally part of the Duchy of Bohemia, but it doesn't seem like... I might have to get my um, dude in here to see if we can imprison this guy or something. Rory got hit by Sips' ugly stick. He's a big boy now. Okay, we have a daughter. Another daughter. Karen. Okay, good. A beautiful daughter named Karen. I've heard rumors of the lost home rediscovered. We have a 50% chance of obtaining lost knowledge. Or we get 210 bucks and get some stress. 210 bucks. That's great. All right. So, Boleslav Hradik and Kaslav are all castles already. Um, and it's just Pilsen. And Doodleby, I think, that needed to be up. Oh, yeah, Doodleby we didn't get either. Okay, let's feudalize Pulzen. 500 bucks. Okay, nice. This is now a castle holding. This is in the heartland of the Empire. This is perfect, right? Stress incoming. Ah, that's fine. We're fine. There's nothing that's going to stress us out too much. Um, we need to gain some more... Um, we need this architect tree to open up for us, right? She's hopeless at managing the domain. What's my succession law? Uh, partition. But I only have one heir at the moment. Uh, I only have one eligible son. It's male preference partition. Um, but I only have one uh, male who can inherit, so he just gets everything. So it's pretty good. It should be a, a nice, a nice, smooth transition. We just have to make sure that when this guy is six, we can focus his studies on um, being a steward. Because we want the we want lots of holdings for these guys, right? So we have to get rid of. We have the duchy. We want to try to hold as much of this as we can. Is that the Duchy of Bohemia? We got the Duchy of Bohemia back, yeah. She's 57. She's 57 years old. <laughs> the hell? That's hilarious. Why not offload the other Salzburg County? I guess I could actually, yeah. It actually makes me money though. Whereas these new, new acquisitions don't. Uh, but they're slowly going to spin up. Look, this isn't making shit. Poor Prague. There's nothing here. There is a city.
Oh, it's because of the domain limit. So if we start getting rid of some of this stuff. Okay, yeah. So let me give this to... Who's this guy? Grant this to... Duke Arnost of Salzburg. Sure. That'll make him happy. Okay, that's good. So Salzburg is all fine. And then we want to get... Um, so we need to give away three more things. Do we want to give away three more things? I don't think we're going to be able to hold everything, right? What else do we want to get rid of? Maybe just some of these for now and then take them back when I... We'll have claims on them, right? We're going to have to. Prince Rory, my son and champion. We can't give this guy anything, right? We could give it to Otakar, who's part of our dynasty. Paradic, we can give to um, just some random dude. And Castlav, we'll just give to some random dude as well. Okay, good. So that should make it. That should make business run a little bit better around here. And then we need to get into Doodleby and Zatek here and, um, and try to uh, feudalize these. So we'll have to try to get... We might be able to get some of this Let's feud is tyrannical. I found it harder to select multiple armies in CK3. It is, it is a bit harder to select armies in C CK3. You're right about that. Oh, I was just about to go on my third and final pilgrimage. Poor Emperor Rory. Oh, no. Emperor Rory the second. He's only two years old. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's gonna be a long one, chat. Emperor Rory the First of Bohemia's soul has finally been cast to Nawi at 57 years of age. She died from complications related to obesity. A shameless adulterer, he will be remembered for his treachery and his covetous disposition. Emperor Rory ascends to the throne merely two years old. He will need to rely on the council during his first years of rule. 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 rule, rule, rule. Oh my god, what a mess. Okay. It's going to be a little bit touch and go here. Uh, empty council position. We need a spy master. Count Zavis of Doodleby. And Duke Arnost of Salzburg. Where are our kings? We need to get our kings in here. King Kojata. King Kojata and King Balsek of Poland. Um, he's actually a good marshal, right? Let's let's reassign him to here, and then let's get Duke Balsek into here. He makes for a good marshal, right? This guy can stay. This guy can stay as well. That's fine. Count Conrad will lose some land when he dies. We're not endorsed by our Vokov. Um, we can create the Duchy of Ungvar. Where's that? Oh my god. Some of these gains in here. Look at poor Rab here is just like f being swallowed. Horoslava Zabolski can marry. This is, of course, um, the Empress Mother, Horoslava Bohemia. This is my natural mother. Okay. We'll hang on to her for now in c until we need it, right? Um, there's low county control in. Pulls in as well. 
So we've inherited everything here, and actually the economy is in pretty good shape. Uh, but we are going to have to give away another holding. Uh, so we'll probably end up granting this one to somebody else. My half-brother and champion? Or should we give it to uh, Hasik? Hasik. Everybody in the realm hates me right now. Okay, let's give it to him. They don't like their leader being a little two-year-old babby. My court is full of, full of bastards that hate me. Okay, let us not waste more time. That's okay. We'll have to weather the storm a little bit. Listen, we're going to have to weather the storm in a minute, though. I have to go eat lunch. I'm starving. Okay? I'll be back in like 10 minutes. And we will weather this storm. We will see Rory, Emperor Rory II uh, come of age, hopefully. And um, the Empire of Bohemia, worshipping Rod, will, uh, will thrive, right? It's been a lot of management, but we're, we're slowly getting there. Put some tunes on. Did I get any raids today? I don't think so. What raids do you mean like in the game? I think I've been raided a couple of times in the game, yeah. Rodomania is going to run wild. <clears throat> All right. Ten minutes, chat. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm just going to go have a quick sandwich, and I'll be right back, and we'll carry on, okay? Love you lot. See you in a sec. Hello. Hello. I'm back. <coughs> Hello. Hi. Um, we, we, uh, we, we continue. We're back. We continue. Hello. Hi. 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 Um, what are we working on now? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we're two years old and we have to uh, spend some time stabilizing, right? But we're an emperor. We're a, two, we're a two year old child emperor. I was raided by Simon two hours ago. Oh. Hi, Simon. <laughs> Oops. Um, no, I didn't get tea either, chat. I just uh, crammed a sandwich down my throat quickly because I wanted to come back. Yeah. Patch the game. There's some fixes for inheritance. Really? Like what? Oh, yeah. There is an update. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what fixes there are. Dowie. Dowie. My dicks. Um, where does it say yesterday? It doesn't say anything. There's no patch notes um, on here. I don't know. I hope it doesn't break my save. Oh, it shouldn't. Realistically, it shouldn't. You never know, though. 79 hours already? To be fair, I had an advanced copy of it, chat. I had, I've had this game for like... Like I, like I had it almost a month before it came out, so. Pre-downloading some DLC, yeah. No, the patch notes are on the forums. Okay. I spent 60 of those hours eating my lunch, yeah. That's true. That is true. Lots of lunches to be eaten. So what, what, what are the big fixes in this patch? Anything? What happened to the other kid? Nothing. The kid, we, we're, we've, uh, our dad died and we've taken over. We're two years old. They banned Rod. Look, this is us. <laughs> All right. They fixed, they, they made changes to successions. All right, okay. I guess we won't really see any of that for a little while. We just deployed a new small patch version. It, fix, it fixes various issues with succession. All right, okay, so there were actual issues with succession? I mean, I didn't know that there was any, like, bugs with it. I just thought that some of it wasn't, like, amazingly done. But, I mean, it's all right. It's fine. My mother, Horace Lava, tells me I should play with the other children, but they are so noisy it has to be quiet so I can hear my thoughts. Okay, we're three now. There is much to think about. We've gained the trait pensive. 
Nice. Who's gonna educate our child? Uh, let's get my sister, uh, Penny, to educate me. Okay, let's do that. My skilled vassal, Duchess Castava, has proven herself uh, capable. Okay, yes, let's do this. That's fine. We've got to. We got the first thing we gotta do once we uh, come of age is a, make babies, and b. Go on a big fucking pilgrimage with the boys. You know what I mean? We're gonna get the coolers out. We're gonna fill them with beers. We're gonna get the peasants to carry it all portage style. And we're gonna go all the way down to uh, Bedford. For a good old fucking pilgrimage. Just me and the... <laughs> just a Lance weekend down in, in Bedford or wherever it is that we go normally on our pilgrimages. For Rod. That's right. <laughs> Bedford. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the place. It's a holy site as well. Hang on a second. It's, uh, of course, uh, Barlad. That's right. Just me and the fucking boys. We just, we're just going down for a real sleazy weekend at Barlad. We're gonna get a couple of bevies and <laughs> we're gonna go down there and we're gonna have a great fucking pilgrimage. It'll be awesome. Oh, it's gonna be great. Can't wait. All right, royal prerogative is what we're working on next. This is so that we can increase crown authority. We have some money. Um, we can start investing in uh, Prague, which is uh, not doing too great, actually. Construct some... Um, uh, maybe in the city, actually? Oh, the city's got hamlets. We can't do any more upgrades to hamlets. So why are we not making a lot of money from this? Mikulas, recruitment, stewardship, development, hamlets, pastoral lands, hill farms. Do we want some hill farms for some tax? Sure. Spend all my money on shop snacks. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Let's get on it. Alright, these places are making some decent money. Uh, we can maybe build another holding here as well with uh, enough money uh, Another castle or should we construct another city? Temple's fine for now Actual fact it looks like they've Struck a bunch of stuff here Let's get some farms and fields outside of Floridsdorf You can upgrade the city itself too. Oh, okay cool. So Floyd's Dorf can be upgraded for 550 bucks. Oh yeah, that's a lot more tax, levies, and garrison too, right? All right, we've discovered uh, mangonels. That's good, actually. So that means that we can uh, we can fuck off these onagers and uh, add uh, man mangonels in instead. Mangonels, 88 bucks. All right, good. That'll make sieging even better, baby. Yeah, vassals will imp will build improvements by themselves. Yeah. What about woman gunels? I don't know. What about them? It's ten fifty five A.D. <laughs> Who cares about women? Am I right? No, I'm wrong. Okay, sorry. It's the most problematic stream on Twitch right now. What is the baby's name? What, this baby? Rory the Second of Bohemia. He's three years old now. He's three years old. He's pensive, which is good. Gives him stewardship and learning. He's handsome as hell. And he is hale. He's hale. Gotta find him a good wife. Marry into here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, no. They were not going to be able to because of the religious differences, right? Let's try to find a good Slovian scan wife. Uh, maybe also a... Uh, I think maybe we can marry into here. Get like a... Yeah, me and... His daughter. Look, he's got a five-year-old daughter here as well. But she's spindly. Okay, let's marry her instead. He will not accept. Oh, we're related as well. 
the hell? There could be some inbreeding here. All right. It wasn't meant to be. Who needs allies, external allies, right? Look at this. Look at these gains down here. Bavaria is crumbling. These guys are doing it. Wait, are they doing it? No, they haven't gained anything new. It looked like we grew a little bit there, but maybe we didn't. Just get a hook and then do it. Get a hook and then do it. Get a hook and then sell it. If you liked it, then you should have put a hook on it. Oh, 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 Can't hook a kid. No, you can't. You're right. There's been more than two Rory's. There's, there were four King Rory's, and this is the second Emperor Rory. It can't be Rory the Fifth because uh, Rory the Fourth was a uh, was a king and then turned into an emperor. So actually, he's Rory the Second in in a line of emperors. He, this he's the second Rory Emperor. Do you see what I mean? You hate all of the Rory's. Well, I'll tell you what. This dynasty has been a weird one, hasn't it? It has been a real weird one. What's this? Education focus. Okay, we want stewardship. We're not six yet. We're almost six. Um, how do I look at this? Dynasty. Dynasty tree. The house of Primsley. Family without envy. Let's change this. I can't even pronounce this word. Let's change the name of our house. Fuck me. If the Windsors can do it, then so can I, right? What are we, what are we gonna be called? House what? Rory Allegory. Rory Rory. <laughs> Rory Rory, House of Rory, House of... R house of Glory? Okay, what about Rory... Rory... Bobori? The House Bobori. What about the House Balboa? No? Rodstein? Come on. Ah. Ah. Yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, shit! Here we go! House Pennywhacker! Oh, that is it. That is the one for me. Chad, I don't know about you guys, but that is definitely, well and truly, the one for me. Rename the dynasty as well. How? Oh, yeah. Pennywhacker Dynasty. Dynasty head is me. We're reputable. Okay, let's look at our dynasty tree here and see where it all began. It all began <coughs> with Duke Premsil of Bohemia way back when. And we had a whole bunch of weird dukes after this, but we also had I don't understand how this works, actually. Where where are the Whammons? And where are we right now? There's Emperor Rory right now. So we got Rory Pennywhacker. Emperor Rory the First. King Rory the Third. King Rory the Second. And King Rory the First. That's right. So we had King Borivaj. Borivaj. That's right. That was us. And he had a brother named Gary. Dipold. Where's Gary in here? There's King Gary. Look. <laughs> King Gary. <laughs> Poor King Gary. All right. There's some other Garys in here as well somewhere. Count Carell. All right. But this is where... This is where it all counts, right? So we have Prince Gary created Count Bozedge. Uh, Jitka Pennywhacker created Countess Kit 
Kitislava. And we've got Prince Rory and Princess Penny Peterwacker of Bohemia, who are bastards. Rory Pennywacker, also a bastard. Uh, and then we have some pure-blooded Pennywackers here. Penny, Pe Penny Pennywacker, Susan Pennywacker, Emperor Rory II, and Karen Pennywacker. Oh my god, what a fucking mess. What a mess. We got some factions forming here as well. So we got Czech, Waldensian, Populist. We got the Liberty Fa- Oh my god, okay. Uh, they're gonna lower the crown authority, uh, which is fine, actually. We'll just give it to them. There's no point in us fighting them. Uh, he's not fucked. It's just, it's just crown authority. They're, they just want to be able to, uh, to do more stuff. We haven't raised it in ages, so basically, uh, there'll be a small penalty and then we'll just raise it up again. Um, we'll want to have it raised by the time, uh, Rory the second becomes, um, uh, a, a man so that we can revoke titles and shit like that and we can retract vassals and all that kind of shit but for the most part we're pretty we're pretty good here doesn't matter um i guess i have no choice okay so we lose 20 dread uh we get the law autonomous vassals we'll spend 200 prestige liberty faction loses 200 discontent and they'll be destroyed as well okay that's fine That's fine. What can what can you do about it, right? So we're at autonomous vassals. So direct vassal opinions plus 10. They provide levies and taxes, but are otherwise free to do as they wish. Okay. I mean, it's we're we're a, we're a big empire here, a big enough empire. They can go off and do whatever they like. That's fine. Um, if they want to fight each other, cool. If they want to fight externals, cool. We have to just wait until we're old enough to be able to do stuff. Because um, really, we have to make sure that the um, the succession and everything is fine, right? So, Princess Penny Peterwacker of Bohemia, my half-sister, is... Um, this is a bastard as well. She's the next in line. She's of the dynasty, but she's not pure. She's not pure. We can maybe work on murdering her. Yeah, Emperor Roy the first died of obesity, yeah. We tried to lose weight, but it was too late. It was just simply too late. We can't even count conquer uh, duchy. We can't even pass a duchy from the left-hand side here. Pass the duchy from the left-hand side, do-do-do. Pass the duchy from the left-hand side, do-do-do. Ma 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 na 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 me need. Well, hang on a second. What's going on here? Controls at a hundred. It said that the control wasn't quite at a hundred. Okay, that should be fine. What happened to Rory four and five? We're, this is Rory five, but he's Emperor Rory the second. Uh, Rory the fourth died of uh, of complications with obesity. And he was old. He's like almost sixty. And he was, uh, he was obese. So there you go. Polish Catholic populists. All of these, all of these peasant uprisings we can easily deal with, right? The factions we need to worry about are the ones where our vassals are, are like behind them, right? See, we can't do anything. We could search for a physician or invite a champion, but otherwise we can't really do shit. Make some more tax money in here. I guess we got the hillside fields coming up. We could try to upgrade this city as well for 550 bucks. Once we saved up enough. Hey, thank you very much, Carter6249. Thanks for the 300 bits. I appreciate it. Thanks. Queen Helena has lost against Duke Adalgod of Angria. <laughs> nice. Nice. He is angry. Uh, throw feasts for your enemies so that they'll die from obesity as well. Maybe that's how we we got to be so obese in the first place. Because we did attend a lot of feasts. We were very stressed out as well. Yeah. 
too many feast attendances. We'll have to watch that in future. Look at this. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. Quite a few of them, like, all over the damn place. Okay. Let's get our rally points set up here. Okay. Nicely done. Start working down there. Alright, let's smash these fools. Oh yeah, fuck, I need to speed it up a bit too. I forgot I restarted the game with this patch. Is this game worth it over CK2? Yeah, I, th I think so, yeah. I'd rather play this than CK2. Okay, we got him. Valuable hostage. Taken. This is my mum. This is my mum who can marry. A bleeder. Slow. Comely. Like one years old. Broad now? What kind of um, alliance are we looking for here? We specifically want to try to marry into somewhere beneficial, right? My mom? My champion. My niece. My sister. Princess Karen. Can, can marry my cousin. <laughs> oh no. These are all my cousins. Ah, shit. Wait a second. King Dobromil of Hungary is my uncle. <laughs> Shit. We can use the existing he will not accept. Parent sibling married to a child parent sibling a married to Emperor Rory's child. King Dobromil child parent sibling is married to a child. I don't want to make a bunch of imp I mean I don't even need to to ally with Hungary that badly anyway, but you know. I don't want to do inbreeding, just we're related to everybody. Yeah, well, our dynasty's been around a long time. It has been around for quite some time. Offer vassalage? He's terrified of us. Uh, minus five because we're just a child. What about if I send him a little gift here? 42 bucks. Okay, that's good. What is this county normally a part of? The Duchy of Kujavia, which is part of Poland. Okay, so Poland will grant you a vassal. Mazovia? This guy. There, he likes me a bit more. And what about the Duchy of Mazovia? What's this normally part of? The Kingdom of Poland as well. Okay, let's give it to him as well then. It makes sense, right? These guys won't accept because of the difference in culture group. If I send her 25 bucks, We could go to war. Um, equally, though, I think this. I think the king of Poland will probably just try to get that back anyway. Sweden's lost a bunch of its stuff here, hasn't it? What about this place up here? Are these guys ready to be vassalized? No. Who 
It was 25 bucks and also a war. Uh, are they at war with anybody? They're allied to a bunch of chiefs, but no, they're not actually at war with anyone. The only way I can get uh, my opinion with them raised is by sending them a gift. 25 bucks for 13 opinion. It doesn't seem very good, does it? Um... Oh, I'll just let them figure it out. It looks like a shit show. It's not too bad, actually. How old are we now? Six. All right. Oh, yeah. Education focused stewardship. All right. Perfect. That's what we want. Um, so we can actually take back... take this back what titles do we have claims to nothing okay so we claim this title at the cost of some renown and then we revoke this title um, after we raise the crown authority right you know we'll raise the crown authority once we have a bit more prestige what do I like most about this game I don't know, it's just fun. I just, I like painting the map and I like some of the challenges and stuff. It's just, it's just cool. I like making like an empire and whatnot. It's just a, it's just a really neat game. I, I really like CK2 as well. Uh, and this just, this just feels a lot nicer to play, you know? You paid it, okay. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Princess Penny Peterwacker of Bohemia is not married. Um, if we send her off to be married um, without a matrilineal marriage, then that could be a bit of a problem, right? We want her to marry matrilineally to maybe a Norseman. Just in case something happens to me, right? She is the next in line. Um, and if she and if she's creating children that in a non matrilineal marriage um, that could be problematic for the uh, for the dynasty and stuff right okay this guy has the quick physical trait so let's do this there we go okay she's getting married she's getting married she's getting married. Hopefully we won't miss the marriage when me and the boys are at Bar Lad for our cheeky weekend pilgrimage. Hopefully not. This little boy is sending someone to get married. I know we're like we're like a Joffrey. What was Joffrey's brother's name again? Toddy, Todden, Toddle, Tiddle. Tommen. <laughs> That's right. Tommen. We're like Tommen. Tompkins. It was definitely Toddy. <laughs> Hodor. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the one. Unwelcome attention. Duke Anusa has been pestering me for a long time now. He has everyone believing he is a saint, but he mocks me relentlessly for every tiny mistake I make. I cannot get him to stop no matter what I do. Duke Nusa has become my bully. Man, being a seven-year-old is hard work, eh? The shit that you gotta put up with. Hey, look at Mitra here. Shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal Count Vilis has, a, has an extramarital affair with Countess Druboslava of Linz. How could he defile the sanctity of marriage?
like Al Smithy a bit. Looks a little bit like Al Smithy. Oh my god, look at all these gains that we've made over here. Lots of gains. Okay. Get the cultural changes in here. Uh, we're still trying to get uh, Waldensians out of here, but uh, we're doing good, actually. We're doing real good. Look at this. This will be gone. And then all of this has been cleared up down here. And some of these new gains in Nitra and stuff we'll have to clean up. Assassinate him. No, we don't need to assassinate him. It's fine. Pra Praha. Pra Praha. Praha. Do I want a new holding here? We don't have battlements yet. Hillside Fields is done though. Another city holding? She's not making any money up here. This castle tax is terrible. Make a duchy building. We have to unlock technology to create some of this stuff, though. Hmm. The tax amount so low. Fuck. It's just because our stewardship is so low. Weird. Okay, this this tax is good though. So cities do seem to be the best, right? Fuck it, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna make another city, we'll make it down here in the capital that we've gone to the trouble moving. So this castle's making some good money. Floridsdorf. Let's upgrade these farms and fields. Actually, let's just upgrade the city. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have ma manorialism. So we can't upgrade the city. Can we upgrade this temple? Nope. We need the same thing for that. Let's make another city holding here. Five years. Five long years. Why did the capital move? Uh, we should really move the capital back. Really, but... We have a claim on Doodleby. That's right. Doodleby, we can... We can, uh, feudalize as well, right? But we can't, um... We can't claim... We can't revoke this because we're, uh, a child. Can you see your overall population? No, I don't think you can. It doesn't really work like that. Move the capital to Poland and become the king. Oh, why would I do that? I already have a king in Poland. We're Czech. Check, baby, check, baby, one, two. Okay. Oh, look at all these Catholics and these uh, Satrus and stuff here as well. The worst. All right. Got to get rid of all these Wal Waldensians. Yeah, Byzantine's going nuts. They're all over the place now. They're, they're, they're really quite big. That's okay. That's okay. No, nobody seems to be fucking with us too much, so it's all right. We're eight years old now. We're getting close. We want to marry somebody who is, um... 
We want to marry somebody with good learning, I think. Let's try to marry somebody who has really good learning. Uh, but isn't too lowborn where it's going to be. Look, look at her. Swedish. She's 34 years old. She's not going to be able to have babies, though, by the time I'm old enough to, to make a baby. That's an incredible amount of learning, though. What about Yaroslava? She's Russian. What about Zritza Bohumila of Lublin? She's gluttonous. No thanks, that's gross. We need some good uh, we need some good traits. She's 40 years old and Finnish. Um, she's 40 years old as well. We need somebody young with a decent trait that we can hand down, right? Some of all skills. Age. Ah, oh, we'll again have to. Oh. Karen Pennywhacker has become my friend. Why is she wearing like a wrestling helmet? She's got like a wrestling helmet on. This is all because of the wrestling helmet. Freaky, yeah. She's freaky. Oh. Oh. Am I making gains to the east? Yeah, we are. Gains have definitely been made. Uh, it's this. Uh, it's uh, the king of Poland is uh, is working in the north and the east here. He's doing a good job. Why not capture Nitra? We could do. Whenever I see my bully Duke Nusa, he has come up with some new way of tormenting me. We could become craven, lazy, or arbitrary. If we become craven, Martial prowess, vassal opinion, attraction opinion lowers. Likelihood of dying in battle is lessened. And our opinion of other craven characters plus 20. If we get lazy, our diplomacy, martial stewardship, intrigue, learning is terrible, but our stress loss is plus 15%. Or if we go arbitrary, we lose stewardship, we gain intrigue, we lose learning, we uh, gain stress 50% slower. Uh, our natural dread uh, raises. It's sinful to Slov Slovian scans to be arbitrary. So I feel like lazy is like the fucking worst. So maybe we go craven? Martial prowess, attraction opinion, vassal opinion? Okay. Fuck it. It's, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the best of a bad bunch, right? We can work around this one. No, we can't. Our religion won't let us be arbitrary. It's sinful. We'll have to forever live in sin. Anna is a lot of fun to be around. She usually demands a lot of attention, but I do not mind. Every time I see her, my day is made better. You get a crush on Anna Pennywhacker. Wait a second. This is my niece. You realize you are heterosexual. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Cultural changes. We still need to do some cultural stuff in here. Hiding in the corner from his bully and Captain Insano. Girlfriend. I know. What an upbringing, eh? Oh. What's this place here? Oh, it's Lithuania. Holy crap, the border gore with Lithuania is insane, right? It's absolutely nuts. Me and Karen really had something. 
We can't take all of Nietzsche, sadly. We ha can only take it county by county because we're not, uh, our fame isn't quite there yet. So we could take the county of Presparok for 150 renown. This should go a lot faster with our our new siege equipment. Yeah, it's good. It's a good one. Pennywacker Dynasty is known far and wide. So watch out for these raiders. They've got good generals. The first army of Floridsdorf. You are not betrothed. No, I am not. I'm looking for somebody uh, at the age of 11 who has traits, decent traits, so that we can have a... Uh, we can start forming up a really good lineage. Amazonian. Look at this. A huge boost to the health. Attraction opinion plus 15. Herculean Amazonian. Ho <laughs> ho. Calm, sadistic, content. Oh my god. I think we found the one for us, baby. Look at that. Oh. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one. Look at these inheritable traits. Yes. This is a real winner. We're going to make some gigantic warrior babies with this one. Oh, man. Nice, we're almost ready to go. I am walking with Penny when I hear it. It is a tiny sound, frail and scared. I look all over under every stone, around every corner, behind every bush. And finally I find it, a small puppy all alone, sits between two stones. It's my puppy now. All right. Rory, what a great name. A helpful warning. I have received a missive from Emperor Damiano of the Byzantine Empire. It claims that Prince Kasaba, my chancellor, has requested support in a plot against me. There is nothing I value more than loyalty, Damiano's letter reads. Hence why I share this with you. All right. Um, Prince Kasaba is uh, my chancellor and uh, vassal. Okay, possible outcomes is uh, that my accusation... Okay, let's confront him in person. He can do nothing... Com com he, okay, he can do nothing but confess when he is confronted with Emperor Damiano's letter. It was never... It was not... How can I make this right again? He froze his brow, but I can see the fear written on his face. All right. Act of benevolence. Okay. I do forgive if you let people know my generosity. Maybe this will shape me a little bit as well, right? It's worth it for maybe a possible good shape. Do I do forgive. I do forgive, but I don't forget. So be it. Okay. We're gonna grant this one off to uh, probably like K 
Count Wojtek of Bethet. He's part of my dynasty as well. Actually, let's give it to Jacob. He's my guest, but also part of my my dynasty tree as well, right? Okay, perfect. Another one bites the dust, baby. So we'll have a truce with them for some time. Oh shit, look at these guys. We made some gains here as well. We'll we can still try to vassalize them though. Um we're still just a child, so it's a minus five, but her opinion of me has grown a little bit. When I'm older, I can convince her to join us, right? That'll be a nice, easy one. Oh my lord, chat, look what's happened here. It's in tatters. I think they've had like an independence faction or something. Look at it. Shattered. Fuck. Yeah, it's up for grabs now. We can make some gains down here, right? We could start making some, some sweet gains down in here. Hungary is up for grabs. This is still part of it. So we've worked on them. Lithuania, we could maybe go to war with and try to grab some stuff there. Bavaria, we could go to war with. These guys don't have any allies. So if we go for the county of... Um, Linz and Brixen. I think we probably want to start with Passau, right? Yeah, he's inferior. He's got an inferior army. All right. That's really interesting, actually. Uh, we're being raided. Twice. Should go down the leftmost diplomacy tree so you can force vassalization and ignore penalties for breaking truces. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. That might be the way to go, especially with the... Uh, how everything is so fragmented right now. We could just swoop in, hopefully, and hoover up some of these little little counties or little, like, two, three county kingdoms or whatever, the duchies or whatever. Oh, it looks like we've taken... Have we taken more here? All right, well, we can start claiming back some of our holdings here because our domain limit is seven, which should increase a little bit as well, right? I can't, I still can't revoke titles though. I can't, I, I can revoke them once I pass the crown authority, uh, which I can do with a little bit more prestige, but I still don't have all my vassals on side here. So I'd need to do a bit of work there. I gotta probably host like a feast and make some friends and stuff when I when I'm old enough, and then make some uh, kids as well. Courtly inspiration. I am incredibly impressed by one of the household champions. I was finally introduced to him face to face. I'm no less impressed now. I will remember his words for the rest of my life. Generous, diligent. I think diligence a pretty good one, right? Diplomacy, martial stewardship, intrigue, learning, stress gain is increased. Opinion of diligent characters plus 10 and opinion of lazy characters minus 10. And then there's patience as well. Which gives us liege opinion, vassal opinion, hostile scheme resistance, learning plus 2. And an opinion on impatient characters. Actually, let's go for patient. Let's go for patient. Okay. So we get some more learning. I need to improve my connection to my wife. I need to upgrade my... I need to upgrade my child penis so that we can make a full connection. Is that what you're saying? I have to upgrade my child penis into uh, an adult penis. For a better connection to my wife. Okay, I'm working on it. It's coming. <laughs> what a phrase. Yes, well, I know. I know. I know. I know. Seven months left for this new city. In the meantime, let's get some um, military camps. Let's get some guilds in. 
for some more tax money. Rory is a charmed vassal. I stumble upon my vassal Count Vratislav, who's also a eight-year-old child, crouching beside my dog Rory, vigorously scratching his stomach. The dog of yours is quite the charmer, my lord. Wow. Did I watch the Michael Jordan documentary on Netflix yet? Pretty good. No, I haven't watched it. No. Is that the uh, the one about the bulls? In their um, in their heyday. When they had like Horace Grant and Scottie Pippen and all the greats. The Last Dance. I'll watch it. I've heard that it is really good. I need something new to watch anyway, so I will watch it. We're 12 now. We're getting there. We're all, we've almost we've we've almost done it. We've almost done it. Cranji. Actually, I need to save up this. I I gotta save up this prestige for um, Crown Authority, so that I can take some of these holdings back. I don't want to spend. Um, I don't want to spend this just on conquering a county when I could just fabricate a claim. After we're done mopping up some of this religious mess, we'll uh, we'll start fabricating some claims. You loved it and you don't even like basketball. Okay, I'll watch it. It sounds good. I love a good documentary. There's nothing better, right? Why read fiction when you can read half fiction or watch half, fi half fiction, right? I cannot stop thinking about Anna, the way she smiles and the way she talks. Just knowing that my feelings are returned brings me great joy and sets my heart at ease. This is weird. Uh, this is, of course, uh, my niece. It's a, that's a, it's a weird one, for sure. Stop it now, Rory. Yeah. It has become a habit to walk Rory daily, and I am not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and sun the most. Rory bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks as if to say, catch up, and on we walk. What does dog walking give you? We pet the dog, which gives, which gives us diplomacy and prowess. And uh, we've walked the dog, which gives us a medium health boost. Not bad. Okay. I, th I think Rory is masturbating a lot. That's a lot of stress relief for a young child, isn't it? He's really thinking about her a lot, isn't he? Jeez. Just can't stop thinking about his niece. Yeah, I guess. What can you do? While passing through the streets with my sister Penny, we came by the pillory. A man was stuck there, begging for water or any kind of relief from his fate. Arrogant, compassionate, or callous. This will give us plus two diplomacy. Callous will give us plus two intrigue. Dread, tyranny, and dread gain and decay. And arrogant gives us uh, plus one prestige per month on top of the 7.9 I'm already getting. But my opinion uh, vassals is uh, is hit. I guess we'll go compassionate. I don't know. In in intrigue we can just get from somewhere else, right? So our opinion of callous and sadistic characters will be minus 15. I believe my future wife is sadistic. So I don't know. Maybe that's... Uh our dread decay is plus a hundred percent as well, so we're not going to be dreadful. But if we go down the diplomatic side, we can force uh, we can force people to uh, vassalize as well, right? Okay, fine. Some of these we might lose as well. They not all of them stay, right? Some of them some of them get lost in the in the wash, as they say. Hey, look, they're s trying to reform somewhat. It looks like they got this bit that I was going to go after. Hey, look at this. My vassal Count Peter created a uh, cadet branch, Pennywhacker Peton or something like that. What the hell? How dare he? How, how dare he do that? The bitch. All right. So, past limited crown authority. Uh, whilst we have uh, so many vassals uh, unhappy... 
I don't know if it's the right the right move, but we have enough. Um, we've got enough points to do it now. Okay, let's start doing some more cultural conversions here. We need to work on control around here is okay, especially in in our places, right? Except for here, Little Maurice. His direct liege is me. Oh, I see. It's because it's the guy who owns Zatek also owns that as well. Can we burn some heretical Catholics? Yeah, at some point we will for sure. Count Sozo. Okay. Susan Pennywhacker can marry as well. This is just my sister. Straight up my sister. I think we hang on to her. Marry her when we need her, right? My sister and my cousin. He will not accept this. He doesn't want an alliance. And he doesn't think very highly of me either. But mo but more morally he doesn't he doesn't want an alliance, right? We might be able to get it into here. He doesn't want this either. Oh, because we're different faith now. Hey what? Really? Oh, so the county faith is Slovenska Pravda, but the top liege's faith is Orthodoxy. So he's come in. He's uh, he's of a different faith. This guy, King Lev the Second, and his heir is also uh, Russian Orthodox as well. What do you need to reform your faith? Like a million fucking um, religious mana. Rory, the council meeting. As me and my counselors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Rory approached me with begging eyes and a drooping tail. He does not like to be left alone, but this is an important meeting. Okay. Every counselor will lose five opinion of me. You slam the door shut in front of the dog's begging eyes. Rory waits patiently, or Rory goes on adventures. Something bad could happen if Rory goes on an adventure. Possible outcomes. So either way. Okay, let's see if he waits patiently. He might go on an adventure. I exit the meeting room only to discover that Rory is gone. I look everywhere for him high and low. What if he is lost and scared? Uh, Karen Pennywhacker has lost 15 opinion of me. And for Rory, this, this beast completely destroyed my chambers. Everything is in shreds. Oh, he didn't get far. Look, he just went into Karen's bedroom and just like shit on her pillows and stuff a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Just get her some new ones. We're an emperor, right? It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Should we found a holy order? Oh, we can't. We're a child and we don't have enough uh, religious points. We can almost do it, though. We can pet Rory to lose some stress. What a nice decision to have, right? Um, okay, these are all like populist uprisings, so we don't have to worry too much about those. We need to do some more, um, let's construct a new holding in Krems here. We'll, let's get another temple going. 500 bucks. We've got tons of money now, chat. We can maybe think about upgrading some of these, um, these things as well, right? Like our Zabrojnosh. Get these guys in. What a son of a beach. How do you decide what holdings to build? They all generate tax. 
Um, but a city holding, you can you can build different buildings in than you can a uh, temple holding. The never-ending torment that Duke Nusa subjects me to has got to stop. He teases me mercilessly, pushing me around and humiliating me. This cannot continue. It's time I showed him who he's messing with. Okay, we have a 73% chance of him stopping. Uh-oh. He beat the shit out of us. Look at this. Duke Nusa beat me up. But I have a... I have a reason. I have a reason to imprison me. Beat me up. As I am out playing under Penny's supervision, I suddenly hear a sound. It is small and it is weak, but it is there. I look at every bush. Oh, we have a cat now, too. Holy crap. Okay. It's our second Miori. Now we have a cat and a dog. What next? What next, chat? What did he do to me? I know, right? He ran me over with a car. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my mother, Horislava. She's 54 years old, for Christ's sakes. Who on, who on this earth would wish that upon my mama? Uh-oh. I remember fondly all the good times I shared with Anna when we were younger. Even if she now has entered the world of adults, she will always be dear to me. You gain 50 less stress from one final big blowout masturbate. Gross. Oh, we've stopped having a crush on Anna Pennywhacker. I see. I see. I see. We are, we're moving on. We're moving on. Hey, we're almost there, chat. We've almost become a full adult. <laughs> Runaway Rory. I am out riding. My dog Rory beside me when he suddenly runs off into the farmlands. My retinue assures me he will come back. But what if he doesn't? Heal, Rory. I said heal. Wait for me. Okay, I will be patient. I trust this dog. No matter how long I wait, Rory does not return. <laughs> just, as I'm, I'm, just as I am about to leave, my sister and friend Karen appears out of nowhere. Rory in tow. My friend, I do believe you lost someone. Oh, where? Okay, great. He's back. I thought he was dead. For a minute there, I thought he was dead. I thought actually he died. Thankfully, no. He has not died. What happened? Oh, they s changed faith. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about this. We're gonna have to go in. Where? Where are they getting all these people from? There's no way they're this big, right? Four thousand two hundred fifty-eight. They don't have any mercenaries or anything either. All right, we can't let this stand, though, Chet. It's gotta go for it. Can't let these heathens get away with it. This is a du jour claim for us. We can't allow this to happen. The, uh, they were fighting a war against us when I was young as well, remember? When we first took over. Miori too has charmed a vassal. Count Velis. Good job, cat. Lithuania is not looking too hot, is it? They've lost a lot of shit. Just 
make sure we're not getting sieged. We're about to get sieged. Play date. Viola is a lot of fun to be around. Okay. I don't think 15 year olds should be having a play date, personally. Just my opinion. She usually demands a lot of attention. But now we've got a crush on. Wait a second. This is my other niece. Oh my god. This is too much. He may be a pure blooded uh, Rory, but he's one twisted son of a bitch as well, right? He's twisted. Absolutely the worst. Okay, so we get this now. Um, we don't want to create the, this duchy. Who got this? Duchess Castava of Mazovia. Nice. Let's see if we can grab Plock as well. Oh, we can't. We got a truce here. So, hopefully our, uh, our Polish king up here can deal with this. Maybe with some of Lithuania as well. Like cats and dogs, I am crossing the courtyard when Miori II and Rory enter from opposing sides. I like that there's events for you having both animals as well. I have no time to react. They are at each other's throats in seconds. Okay, this is where I'd get the sword out and kill them both. Stop this at once, Rory. Miori too. that's enough. I don't want to get in the middle. Okay. May the best pet win. I've looked all over the castle, Miori the second trailing behind me, but I cannot find my dog Rory anywhere. I stop to think, bending down to pet Miori too, when I see a tuft of bloody black fur stuck in his teeth. As I yank it out, he hisses and bounds off to a corner of the yard. A corner with something black lying on the ground. <laughs> oh my god. The cat killed the dog. <laughs> Jesus. The cat won. Great work, Dalamir. Great work. All right. We are we are rocking here. We are rocking and we're rolling. Once this stewardship bonus comes in from us maturing, we should be rolling in cash. I remember fondly all the good times I shared with Viola when we were younger. But now that she's 16, I no longer have <laughs> feelings for her anymore. And she's my niece. Jesus, what a guy. Praise Rod. Praise Rod. All right. Oh, I thought that was it. I'm so close. Meow, I look down to see that my cat Miori the second has dropped a scroll at my feet. We learned that Horislava Zapolsky's lover secret. This is, of course, my mum. Okay. What? What? Who is the? Who is the lover? Nice. With the help of Penny, I've completed my studies of stewardship. Even if the highest aspects of the subject eludes me, I lived up to everyone's expectations and learned more than most. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who made an impact on the man I've become. The friendship I shared with Karen meant a lot to me when we were both young. And to still have her by my side means a lot. I had some memorable times with Viola. She truly helped me understand both myself and my man penis that I currently have. The things Duke Nusa put me through as a child still weigh heavy on me. Every time I see him, my mood is sure to turn sour. All right, good. We're a man now. We lost the pensive trait. Nice. Okay, lifestyle choices. Um, okay, we have... Uh, our, with our domain currently... We could get married to Karen, Kettleman's daughter, uh, which we should do. All right. Um, let's go for the prestige gain since money isn't too much of a problem. Um, and then we can choose our lifestyle. We're wounded. We are wounded. 
That's okay, though. We have to start making some babbies. Okay, let's put her to work. If she can go on um, learning, that would be great, actually. Okay, nice. And so we will go into diplomacy. Thoughtful. We could do title creation cost is 20% less. Fellow vassal, opinion, independent ruler. We can propose one alliance without a marriage. Force vassalage is pretty good. Um, okay, yeah, let's go for this. We'll go. Uh, we'll go for foreign affairs focus with with and then diplomat. We'll go down the diplomat one, right? Fabricate claims on counties, shorter truces, and no prestige penalty for breaking them. Okay. What do we want majesty? For diplomacy and some more prestige per month. Ah, fuck it. We'll go for this. Okay, good. All right. We're locked in. We have, uh, without even any help from our wife or, or whatever, we have a domain size of eight, which is fucking great. Holy shit. It's very nice. And then we have to train our, the next Rory to have a high stewardship uh, rating as well. Steward Stewardship is... 13 for Rory the second the Empire of Bohemia, which is pretty good. Actually his stats are quite good learning Stewardship and um, his diplomacy is is actually really good. Okay, and uh, we're pretty close to getting this as well That's nice and we want to uh, Make sure that our vassals are happy, right? And we want to start getting some of these guys into uh, into duchies and stuff we need to raise our crown authority. I think we're in. I think we're in okay shape to do this. Actually. Sips, how did you manage to make Rory an underage niece loving creepo? He I will don't be know. known for the ages. I know this. It's Rory the second. The uh, this actually technically this is the fifth Rory. <laughs> this is Rory the fifth, but he's Rory the second, the emperor of uh, of Bohemia. Quisina, thanks so much for the 10 bucks. I appreciate it. Torture my bully. He's here. This is him here. We could try to murder him. We're compassionate, though. We'll gain some stress from trying to murder him. Uh, we can try to revoke his title. No. Murder. We'll murder him after. For now, it's fine. We need to get some of these places freed up, right? We need to revoke this title. He might accept. He will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled... You have an unpressed claim on the county of Doodleby. Okay, nice. We need to grab one on here as well, right? Oh, we can't grab that one. Little Maurice. Can't grab either of these. These should be du jour uh, for us as well, right? <coughs> oh my god. That took like no time at all, chat. Literally the second we became a man. Boom. We're no longer wounded either. What a guy. I know he's right in there, right? He's just ready. Okay, sure. We'll accept this invitation. Be good. We'll hold a feast as well. Our own feast. I will distract the converging guests. We can get a weak hook on her. Tell us a story. Closer to forming a rivalry. Okay, sure. We've got a favor hook on her now. What a feast. Okay, good. All right. We have to watch out for some of these. Uh-oh. The child was stillborn. It's Captain Disco. I'm sorry. All right. These guys want to lower the crown authority. Count Dalamir of Freestadt. This is my... I can't revoke this though, right? Without 
tyranny. I have a 0% chance of it as well. Okay. Let's see if we can find out anything about this asshole. <coughs> Alright. This is going to take four more years. Um, and then once that's researched, uh, we'll be able to up the crown authority another level, but it'll take about 20 years before we can do that because it's on a, it's on a cooldown, right? Okay, let's train our commanders with Marshal King Balsack. And Prince Kasaba isn't too hot on us either. Miori to the gift giver. Wow, two gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's get these guys increased in size as well. Pikemen are pretty good. Spend some bucks on Vassal Opinion. We only need two if the faction's getting out of control. We can send this guy a gift for 23 Opinion. Seventy-five bucks for forty-nine opinion. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who someone's plotting against me, guess who it is. Guess who it is. Bet you'll never guess. My last chance. Horse Lab has decided that her time in Wien has come to an end. It's my mother. Um, she wants she wants to us to press her claim on the kingdom of Hungary. Wait, does she actually have a claim on it? Give me one more year to press this. She doesn't have shit. She has no claim. <laughs> she has nothing. All right. She wants us to, to press a non-existent claim. She's got no claim whatsoever she's got a claim on nothing okay they they won't accept now because they're of a different uh, faith right it's annoying okay so crown authority we're working on let's try to sway this guy got dementia. All right. Is that what it is? We uncovered a secret here too. Anund. Who's Anund? He's just the guest of Count Dalamir. We need to steal some of this shit back. We've got space for it now. Bavaria's getting swallowed up here, too. I don't know how we get, we have a war against East uh, East Francia. They're, they're pretty big, although they're not that big. anyone got decent claims on them? Nope. Pretty big, although they're not that big yet. My spy master has come to me with a discovery. He is certain that my acquaintance, Doborslava, is scheming against my mother, Horislava. Okay. Alright, we're rat free for five years now as well. This is nice. See if we can find out any more about this guy down here. Maybe we'll have a reason to imprison him and strip him of this title so that we can get this last county in Austria for ourselves. While performing his duties as my spy master, King Kojata has uncovered a secret held by my steward, Count Dalamir. He has secretly taken Spislava the Zrista of steward Count Dalamir as a lover. All right, Count Dalamir. 
He actually likes me. It's useful to know, though. More factions being created against me. This one's only got two members in it, though, now. And the rest is all populist uprisings, except for... This guy is fucking hellbent on becoming independent. This is this guy down here. Here. It's this guy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do about him. I don't even know how we got that. Barrett is scheming against me. My brother-in-law. Okay. Chuck him in jail. Put him in jail. Put him in jail. He'll pay 50 bucks. Maybe we negotiate his release and banish him. What is he? He's a Norse Asatru. Let's demand a conversion on him. He's my prisoner and brother in Oh, it, it's this is my brother-in-law. So this guy came over here from with my wife, right? Okay. Let's demand a conversion and banish him as well. Yeah. Okay, good. Maybe he'll go spread our religion wherever he ends up now. I feel like demanding a conversion and banishing somebody is like a religion bomb, right? He goes back to whatever country he's from, but he's a new religion now and he starts like infecting other people with it before you know it. It's all good. Oh, look at this awesome beard we have. Okay. This Emperor Rory II is is a direct and pure descendant, right? I don't know though. He doesn't look He doesn't look like a pure descendant from Rory. Or <laughs> He looks like a bit Asian. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I don't know. Maybe there maybe there was some weird fuckery involved. I don't know. He's looking he's looking odd. All right. It's time It's time to go on vacation with the boys. Off we go. All right. Where are we going? We're taking the boys to Barlad. Here we go. Off we fucking go, boys. Get your bevies ready. It's a time for a pilgrimage. Hell yeah! Off they go to Barlad for the weekend. Fucking classic Rory. He's out there. It seems I have not taken well to all this travel. Perhaps it is the strange lands filled with unfamiliar air, or perhaps my furs are not warm enough. Okay, we're gonna become ill. Um, this is no time to give up. He's got to power through. The weekend in Barlad is the ultimate test for this dynasty to see. At last, I finally arrived in Barlad. <laughs> I puked a million times along the way, but me and the boys, we slammed them back. And we did go whoring as well. All right, good. We've done it. We've done it. He's proven that he can be. He can be part of the dynasty. Yeah, now it's official. It's official now. Oh, we got another secret uncovered here on Edward. Count Dalamir. He's the guest of Count Dalamir. Okay. So many secrets to uncover here. Sensitivity. Oh, my wife doesn't like the cats. We're already not on great terms, me and the wife. Maybe I'll give him to Dalamir. I'll give him to King Balsack. Okay, there you go, King Balsack. Have cocaine and whores, baby. That's right. What happens in Barlad stays in Barlad. As I woke this morning and saw the rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize 
I was hungover as fuck after my boy's weekend away in Barlad. I did not wake up coughing once. Good. We're no longer ill. Feeling good. Feeling good. This is the second time I've given my... Oh, another feast. All right. We're far south of the kingdom right now. Okay. We might become a friend with this guy. Great work, Dalamir. Fucking Dalamir, eh? This guy. This guy is the best. Okay. We gotta sort out some of this stuff up here too, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How would a show you put on? We'll get rid of this stress at the end of this, right? When you leave the feast. Farewell, my friend. We've lost 20 stress. Quite the emperor we are. Oh my god, okay. I have more important matters to attend to, such as... I'm gonna do my own feast, okay? I'm not going to Boleslav. No way. There's no way I'm doing it. Okay, we want to start scheming to sway this fool. Who is this even? Tem tempted to give him to... What duchy was would this form part of? Meeson. Meeson. <coughs> and the kingdom of... Ah. Uh, Pomerania. Pomerania. Okay, so if we can grab a couple of these off of East Francia, we can create the kingdom of Pomerania. And then vassalize him under there, right? Was my mother Mongolian? I think so, yeah. I can't just take Hungary. I've got I've got de jure claims, but I don't have an overall good claim on it. I can't just go in and take it. I might be able to take this, though. start connecting up the dots here. I think my dudes will just do it, though. How are we doing up here with these guys? We still got a truce. How's Bavaria doing? We don't have any decent claims on Bavaria either, right? Oh, fuck. Is that a hot brew for me? Oh, no, it's not. Do you know, I was sure that that was a hot brew coming my way, but it's not at all. I can still take a couple of parts of it myself. I can, yeah. It's going to cost me, though. Some of these claims... The du jour one is probably the best one to do, right? Crasso and Creve. I think our guys down here are just going to fight them anyway. Hello. Hello. Why are you looking like that? Yeah, I saw you coming out and I was like, oh man, here it comes. I'm so thirsty. Oh, now I'm just going to have to settle with this for this bottle of water. And... Mm. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. What about Venice? The Serene Doge D Domen Domenico. 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 We've got to have some du jour stuff here, right? East Francia. They're pretty inferior to us as well. What about Woolen? Maybe Woolen will give us like that extra pep. He's got some... He's got Duchess Antoinette of Tuscany. Meanwhile, I have Countess Vladovildis of Mark. I, don't, I just don't even think this is worth it for one county, right? I wonder what we lack for the kingdom of... Hey, wait. Oh, this is, this is our guy. This is our Polish guy, right? What titles does he have? 
he's got the Kingdom of East Francia, the Duchy of West Franconia, and then a bunch of counties. And he's got a claim on the Kingdom of West Francia as well. Did I just sway my wife IRL? Yeah, I did actually, yeah. I did. Okay. I have a 0% chance of romancing my wife here. She hates me. Maybe I send her a gift just to like... I send her 50 bucks. There we go. Now what if I try to romance her? Oh, we got a 10% chance. Okay, we have a 10% chance of romancing her now. Okay, let's go for it. The time has come to let my feelings towards Empress Karen be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. Okay, I'm gonna go with my gut in the moment. What about if we sing a love ballad? I have found a classic Norse love ballad which suits Karen perfectly. Karen won't resist my charms for long. I don't know if that worked actually. I didn't read the rest of it. I thought the next part would tell me. It didn't though. Alright. That's fine. Uh, we couldn't find out anything about this. This Scrooge McDuck. We could blackmail this guy. Count Dalamere's lover. Okay, and then we can go revoke his County of Freestat title using a hook. He will accept. And we get a bit of tyranny. But that's fine. Just so. Alright, baby. Zretz Dalamir. Wow. Stuart Vaslin Champion. This is the guy that we just screwed over, right? God. Please sing it for us. Okay. This guy just hasn't built shit here. Romance competition? As of late, all my visits to Karen have been ruined by my champion, Mitfora. He follows her everywhere. Oh my god. Okay. I have a 0% chance of winning the duel. I have a 40% chance of Mitfora Itrigrid makes an embarrassing scene at dinner. I'll also try to poison him as well. I could pay him 25 bucks. There's an 87% chance that he accepts the bribe. Okay, he's out. He's out, chat. We got rid of our romantic competitor. Phew. Just kill him, you're the emperor. It's not as simple as that. It is not as simple as that. Okay, let's construct some farms and aha okay she's pregnant once again she had a miscarriage last time chat we got to make sure that she's resting she's got her feet up we got to give her some herbal teas you know some chamomile and stuff okay the cat is doing well you're you gain 10 opinion of Empress Karen. Surely they must pale compared to your fair visage. Okay. We'll lose 55 bucks, but the romance will get a special gift. Or we have a 63% chance of Prince Kasaba finding an orchid in the ruins. Which will give us special gift. Okay, let's just go with this one. We'll go with the cheap and cheerful option, right? We're not, we don't want to invest too heavily. In, we just want to have a kid or two. That's it. And then we're going to chuck her out. <laughs> chuck her out on the road. And her, and her stupid Norse brother as well. Fucking bitch. Bitch ass. <laughs> bitch ass trick. Whoa, 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 whoa. All this wasted time when we could have been getting rid of these heretics. Look at all these Catholics up here. Christ. Okay. 
We have to get rid of him as well. Also, King Kajeta. Are you not better at anything else? No, he's terrible. What the hell? What the fuck is this guy's major malfunction? We gotta stop East uh, East Frankie from going up here. Oh yes, here we go, boys. The first, the first in line. Rory. Here we go. A son and heir. May a long, proud tradition of Rory's continue. Uh oh. Oh, look out. Look out. Look what's happened. Oh, shit. Against the trait adulterer. This is my childhood bully. All right, let's chuck him in jail. Oh, what are you, what's going on in here, you little bitch? You little bitch? Okay, let's take some of his stuff. Just so. Okay, good. Um, let's uh, negotiate his release. What claims does he actually have? Salzburg. We could just banish him altogether. He'll accept it, but it's seen as tyrannical. We want to gain a weak hook on him as well? It's one or the other. Who's this guy? She'll pay me 10 bucks to get out of jail, and that's fine. This is Duchess Helena, the bully of Pomeranias. All right, you can go. This guy, not so much, though. You're doing great, Dad! Okay. We'll torture him a little. There's nothing like the good old rack. Nice. Duke Noosa gains the trait lunatic. Wow. He's gone crazy in there. We tortured him and he's gone nuts. Okay, we can't really let him back out though because we don't want to manage him while he's a lunatic and he hates us. Maybe we'll just let him go and, uh, and die, right? We could execute him. Okay. Good. It's alright, we'll get rid of all this stress when he dies. He's our rival and a bully, right? If we banish him... Um, does he just lose all of his titles? No, we can't. Well, it's only five opinion, right? What happens if you banish him? Does he lose all of his titles? And then where do his titles go? Rod demands it. Okay. My devotion will carry me through. We'll gain... You managed to avoid sustenance. We'll gain devotion. Okay. 67% chance. Oh, she's disgusted at that. Farewell, Noosa. He's gone. He's lost everything. The Duchy of Salzburg has been taken by Duke Arnost of Salzburg instead. Sure. Your glory is widely known. No, she didn't cheat on me. She didn't cheat on me. I don't think so, at least, anyway. Chernigov. You cheated on me. That's not nice. Um, hang on a second. I want to see... Uh, what my 
So I have no claims in Bavaria whatsoever. I can I can conquer duchies now though, which is pretty good. So I could take a big chunk of Bavaria here, but it's going to cost me 750 prestige, which I think we want to fabricate claims for, right? So let's get a claim fabricated on Passau. We'll be able to fabricate these much quicker soon too, right? The tree that we're going down. Romance intruder. I go ahead with my attempt to romance Empress. Lose 10 opinion of you. It'll end my scheme. There's a 66% chance that Empress Karen escapes unharmed and nothing happens. Okay, let's try to rescue her. She lost 10, 10 opinion of me. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> this romance... This romance scheme is not going well at all. It's done. <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least we got a child out of it, I guess. Christ. Could have been could have been better, right? Could have been better. Ungvar. Ungvar. Stick to nieces. Yeah, I think we need to, yeah. Okay. Some more factions created against me here. Military power this time. Count Velis of Gaslav. He's a known criminal, an adulterer. We need to get a hook on him. If we can get a hook on this guy. We don't have to risk fighting uh, all of these disgruntled vassals as well, right? And then that's another another one. The map. Okay, we gotta we gotta dump some stress here. We have some money to hold a feast. Oh, she's pregnant again. Great. Who? What the hell? I don't want to be allied to you, you son of a bitch. I got bigger fish to fry out here. Why would I want to be allied to him? Can she be pregnant with not my child? Yes, she can. Of course she can. But hopefully these are my children. You never really know. But there are ways of finding out. Is it possible to choose the wrong heir and have a bastard heir? Yeah. Well, you don't choose it. It picks it automatically, but... I stole it. Captain Disco. It's Captain Disco. You could be named the next one. Oh, fuck. What happened? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. Captain Disco, you'll be named after the next baby. The first one's always named after the uh, the current ruler, right? That's the, that's the thing. It's an autosave chat. It's Iron Man. It auto saves all the time. Aha. Okay. We want. Yeah. That's what we want. Oh, look at this. He's taken back a lot of it.
Okay, we can do this once. So we'll have to use it wisely. Another sun. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? It's just going to be Captain Disco. Captain Disco. Okay. All right, the succession is fucked now. We're going to lose the Kingdom of Bohemia and the County of Praha. So, Captain Disco, we may be um, disinheriting you. All right, royal prerogative is done as well. All right, we can't. We found out about um, his murder secret. This uh, gives us a reason to imprison him now. Or does it give us a hook on him? So we black. I can't him think now. of anything the clever. Murder secret. Name a dog after me or something. Fuck you, Sips. Okay, we can be inappetitic. Diplomacy prowess and stress loss. At least we won't get fat. Right? That's fine. Okay, we'll go for that one. Try to lose this. All right. So we blackmailed this guy. So now we can revoke this title, the one that we want. And we use a hook on him and he will accept it for sure. Just so. All right. Got it. Hey, Bobby Briggs. Thank you for the thousand bits and thank you for the 20 gift subs as well. Wow. We thank you so much, man. Uh, I've proud through the documents. All right. Yes, all of Bavaria will be mine. Oh my god. We've got a full fucking claim on all of Bavaria. Oh, that's great. That is fucking great. All right. Communal government innovation. This is the new thing that we're looking forward to. I think we'll go battlements next. We can upgrade some of our castles, get some more tax and shit like that. What was the other one that we needed to get? Menorialism. To upgrade our towns and shit as well, right? This will take 19 years. This will take 6 years for battlements. Communal government. Larger towns regularly face serious increasingly complex problems. Delegating some authority to local councils will let them resolve these issues without needing to get the king involved. Okay. They don't have anything down here for us. Okay. That's fine. Okay, yeah. We'll go battlements next. Um, and then let's, um, look at that, 313 crown points. They have a vastly inferior army with nobody to help them. Um, let's go for it. We're doing it, chat. We are, we're going in. Go capture all of their whores. Who is this? Count Radosta of Zetek. We're once again overwhelmed by stress. Uh oh. We've had to. Prison King Balsack of Poland. Uh, we need a good marshal here. Count Zavis of Double Doodleby. We don't want him because we're gonna take him out pretty soon. Um, Count Radosta. Uh, power relevance. Oh my God, he's a great chancellor. This guy, isn't he? Who's our best option here? Mitfora. My brother-in-law and champion. Okay. My bro and champ. Come to Papa, Bavaria. All right, Dalamir is dead. He's my rival. He's gone. He's out. He's out for the count, baby. 
We need a new steward. Uh, we'll put Duke Arnost of Salzburg in here. He's a pretty good steward, actually. Which will make him like me more. How's Bulgaria doing? Uh, not too great. They seem to have come out of the Byzantine Empire, but... They're not in, like, amazing shape. Captured the capital and still... Okay, don't waste any more time. Velis's court. So we got to get this guy. This this is Zavis. In Doodleby. I'm going to split the army, yeah. We're stationing besiegers. Oh, Penny Peter Wacker died. She died. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Sodomy! Oh, look out! This guy has had it. All right, boys. We got this. We're in a little bit of debt. Okay. Um, we can just... Um, we can blackmail him. Um, and then we can... Revoke his title now. We want Doodleby. We use the hook. Yeah. Okay, good. Taking back what's ours, right? He's three. Okay, who's gonna educate him? Never a dull moment. Nice. Um, right. I don't know what's going on. Oh, here. I see. Hang on a second. We want to... Leave the siegers here. Venice is trying to creep up here, too. I don't think this guy's got any allies or anything. Or maybe he does now. Somebody else joined the war? Oh, just him. Deviancy. Mayor Prim... Okay. Oh, no. An offense against Rod has been committed. We have a lot of deviants in the court. Disgusting. Susan Pennywhacker. My sister can marry, though. Um, where do we want to send her? Let's hang on to her and see if we can get, like, a decent... Problem is, is that... I mean, we can maybe marry her into here. I think they... Where's my sister? My nephew, my niece, my sister, Susan. It gives us an alliance. It gives us a fairly big alliance, I guess. 
these guys might be able to help us with these guys if it comes to it. Ah, uh, we might as well go for it. Ah, uh, we can do matrilineal here as well. We might as well. They're of the same faith and everything, so it makes sense, right? Oh, pardon me. We gotta send the boys over here. Okay. And we gotta get this guy working over here as well. Oh, they un they they got the capital back. I didn't realize that. That's why the war score is so low. They must have just sieged it while I wasn't looking. What a bunch of bitches, eh? Chat, hang on a second. I think um, I think my tea's ready, but I think my mother-in-law's bringing it. She doesn't have a key for the garage. I'll be back in a sec. Hang on. I can't believe how big Bavaria was at one point, and we're about to take uh, a big chunk of it back. They were enormous. They were absolutely enormous. Alright, good. Got it. Um... We're fighting a holy war now against um, Venice, though. Which I think we can still handle. We got too many duchies. Um, we can can't. We could raid some King Balsack. He's ours. For 200 bucks. Should be handy, actually. Um, get rid of these duchies and. We can call this guy to war. What's this place? Salzburg? It's part of the Duchy of Bavaria. Okay, so who's in Regensburg? It's me. So let's give this to Vaclav Pennywacker, my nephew. Or should we give it to Bohus Pennywhacker? This guy's reckless. Or should we give it to Kuna Pennywhacker? Look at this! A huge boost in health! Okay. Lots of Pennywhackers around. Alright, so we're gonna give him the Duchy of Bavaria in a second after we give him our Regensburg. So let's give this to him. And let's grant him this title. The Duchy of Bavaria. Oh, one of, one of the holdings is under siege. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Okay, it's fine. Alright, so let's muster the troops together. A good deal. Um...
Okay, I should be able to give it to him now. I don't think anything's being sieged. Yeah. Okay, good. This doesn't have to go on for very long, this war. We're gonna probably go into a little bit of debt. All right. We'll try to get a white piece out of this. We're above the domain limit. Um, we need to give this away as well, right? And one more. Uh, what what else did we get here out of this that we don't want? Do to be Castlav. Nine out of eight. Did I grab something else down here without realizing it? Prague? Hang on a second. Let me just see. Freestat. That's fine. Krems. Honhau. Doodleby. Castlav. Falkenstein. Ah. Okay, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see this. So let's give this guy this to this guy as well. Okay, good. All sorted out. See if we can injure like one of his dudes. Maybe siege one of his things and then just end this war. So he was doing a holy war against Bavaria, which continued on after us conquering Bavaria. Uh-oh. He's been wounded. Oh my god, Bohemia's getting huge. How many kings have I been so far? Um, I have been... The embassies, adaptive... We want this, right? Title creation costs minus 20%. We can use the, the Ducal Conquest Casus Belli. And then we want forced vassalization. That's a pretty nice one, too. So we'll head down there. Um, I've been five or six, I think. I think this, this is number five. I am piss poor, yeah. It's all right. We'll, we'll make it back. I welcome your generosity. Uh, look at this. Look, the boys all chipped in. After having such a fun time in Barlad on that weekend away, everybody's like, Way! Let's all hand him some money. Let's all give him some money. All right, this will bail us out for a little bit. Maybe enough to just do a white piece? Close. The boys finally paid back their bar tab, yeah. Meddling in marriage. My rival Nusa and his wife, Pribislava, to be at each other's throats, I could investigate and... Where is he, even? Ah, he's out. He's gone. He's not even in our court anymore, so we don't care, right? We're, we're just getting this because I think the game assumed that we would just keep him around, but we banished him. <laughs> he's barrel-chested, yeah. He is, yeah. Uh-oh. He died. He died. This strange man from the south of our empire that... Where nobody goes. The ravens won't even fly down there. Nobody knows who he is. One day he just turned up to one of our feasts and was like, Hey guys, did you forget about me? And we were all like... Well, if you didn't go to bar, lad, you basically don't exist, bitch! Guys, nobody invited me to the big weekend away in Barlad. Okay. 
now we can white piece. Yeah. Great. All right. There's no point in fighting a defensive war um, longer than you need to, right? Just white piece out of it and move on. Um, right. We'll get um, Count Zavis of Plizin. Uh, what? What does he still own? I was sure that I imprisoned this guy, right? Oh, that Plizin. Oh, how did he get this back? I thought I had this. How the fuck did this guy get this back? That's crazy. Is he a good chancellor, though? He is a really good chancellor. All right, let's give him a chance to to chancel. Let's give him a little his own little. Wow, where's this? Stupor mark? Stayer mark? Oh, Stayer mark is part of. Um, it's a it's a duchy within uh, East East Francia normally, but it looks like they've just completely uh, reformed, but like broken away. And we got Augsburg here as well. Clown, Vl Count Vladimir's... Oh my god, these guys... Where's this army from? Ah, they got some mercenaries. Okay. Right. We need some time to recoup here. We need to sort some shit out, right? Um, we can declare wars. We can create the Duchy of Ungvar. I don't think we need to do that just yet. Uh, we'll lose a bit of land up here in the north when she dies. Countess Judita Zakharomsky. She's 51 years old. Uh, let's marry her off to my nephew. Um, she's not going to have any kids though, right? Rory Pennyracker becomes my friend. Oh, this. It's the other bastard. It's, it's the other bastard. Okay. We'll take that. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Look at this woman. Uh, we can avoid this happening uh, with uh, High Crown Authority, right? Once we get into High Crown Authority, none of this happens anymore. How far away are we from upgrading to the next? Uh, the 30th of December, 1087. So 10 more years. We'll be 35. Uh, but we've got everything in place to, to go up the next level of Crown Authority, which means no more internal fights. As long as we can keep our vassals happy, they should only focus externally, which is quite nice. Yeah? No? None of them are happy, though? Ah, they will be. Eh, they're fine. I, don't, I think in terms of factions and stuff, there's only, what? There's only, like, three really discontent people here. We could maybe even marry um, my son and heir. My, look, we can, we can marry Captain Disco off here. Look. Here we go. Captain Disco, you can marry... He will not accept this. He's not happy about this at all. He doesn't want a patrilineal marriage. He doesn't even want a matrilineal marriage. <laughs> he just doesn't want to know. Oh my god, Duke Vaclav. Duke Vaclav. Wait, where's Duke Vaclav? Oh, he's down here. He's this Duke. What kingdom is this normally part of? The kingdom of Bavaria. I feel like we own enough of Bavaria here to create this kingdom. Oh, uh, we'd have to usurp it from King Garrick II of Bavaria. We should be able to usurp it soon, though, right? He's fighting a war. 
Oh, he's he considers our faith to be hostile or worse. He cannot hold any de jure land in the title. Right, okay. So we have to go after bits and pieces of Bavaria. Uh, but the ones that make up the kingdom of Bavaria. And then we can get another king underneath us, right? Does he know you can edit your hair, beard, and clothes? Oh, really? Um, that's pretty good. So Bavaria is all of this, apparently. Going into parts of Italy. So we need to grab this. Alright, well, hopefully some of our vassals are doing some of this stuff right now. I think they are. Okay. Velis Z. Kromlova has died, which is lessened my stress levels as well. That's good. My vassal Dukuna has been wounded. Uh-oh. They're fighting the good fight up here. They're carrying on the fight against Bavaria. Okay, I'm not gonna grant Doodlebee to somebody because we're gonna save up some money. We're gonna save up money and we're going to um, feudalize it. Feudalize the tribe. It's just a crappy tribal holding right now. Mm. That's good. Alright, we're almost entirely Czech. What the hell? They do look a bit Asian. How do you, um... How do you edit your guy? Where's the button? No? You right click him. Oh! Click to open the barber shop. Default clothes. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Is there like... Indian, Africa, steppy armor? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, headwear. We want like the fleur de lis crown. Oh, yeah. A chainmail coif. Oh. Imperial crown? The imperial crown is crazy, right? It's too much. What about a nasal helmet? <laughs> okay, let's go for this crown. I think this is better. Do we want a different beard? No beard? Oh, he looks crazy without a beard. There, that's better. What about hair? Oh, <laughs> yeah. A royal cloak. All right. Cool. He's got to look more. Yeah, way better. Okay, good. <laughs> he does look Asian. He looks a bit like Burger King. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit like Burger King. Right! We're saving up some money. How is this place doing? Low con county control here. So let's get the... Uh, let's get our man... ...in to sort that out so that we can... ...get maximum taxation out of them. I am Ginger Earl. Just saying. Hey, Rory. Thanks for the 10 bucks, man. Rory. There's been a lot of Rory's in this game. Jesus. There's been a lot. Lots and lots of Rory's. Look at how big Bohemia is now, though. We're huge. The succession is more or less safe as well. Closer to the time... Close to the time we're going to disinherit Captain Disco. We can definitely afford to do so. We just have to um, not die stupidly before old age, right? Do 
Duke Bozesh. Duke Bozesh. He's defending against a peasant revolt in Bavaria right now. Uh, our other guy that we put on to the, uh, gave the, uh, the duchy to, died. I think he was injured in battle or something. He is gone, though. He's well gone, mate. He's well gone. In the meantime, we need to try to get some of these bits and pieces. Who is this guy? He's vastly inferior with no allies either. Augsburg. Where? The Duchy of Augsburg is normally part of the Kingdom of Bavaria as well. So we're going to try to declare war here. And grab this as well. Dude has no allies. Where the fuck is he going? <laughs> He's off. He's off on one. He's trekking. He might be just trying to do the old reach around on the capital. Oh no, yeah he is. He's trying to do the old reach around on the capital. Leave this guy. Fucking believe this guy. Give him the slip. Yeah. 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 Hey, put up a good fight. Apparently, Bakunin has been injured. Look out. Look out, Terranty Bakunin. He's stroking. Like he's coming back for more. It's an expensive war. Okay, forced vassalage. Nice. Oh, it's all done, baby. All right, we're above the domain limit. So we have to give some of this stuff away. But um, we can usurp this when we have a little bit of money. So we'll give some of these away straight away. Um, do we want to give it to half Rory? Vaclav Pennywhacker, my nephew. Sure. You have that. Um, what about you? Let's give you, um, let's give this to Count Jessic, my other nephew. No, Bohus Pennywhacker. And Augsburg itself can go to... This will be the Duke. Borek Pennywhacker. All members of the dynasty. This is good. This is real good. Okay. And then King Balsack can resume his job here as well, right? All right. Good. Hervé Panini has a claim on the county of Sudovian. Nice. 
Hervé Panini. Warak is like six. That's all right. I think these ones that come up in the in the middle here, purple, are like peasant revolts. So like. You know, when that happens to you, um, you know, when you get, like, low control in your counties or, like, there's a different culture or faith or whatever and they get pissed, uh, that's it. But that's happening internally in a duchy that's not mine. I mean, overall, it's mine, but it's somebody else's. So they just have, like, this, like, internal war to fight. All right. Battlements has been discovered. Um, so we'll go for Menorialism next, which is going to take 17 years, but that means we can start upgrading temples and cities. Make some more tax money. Sometimes your butt revolts. Most importantly, it's their problem. Exactly, yeah. They can just deal with it. And then you can just deal with any sort of weird shit that comes off the back of that. They, these guys can't do it. They can't hang on to it, right? It must be successions or something, but Croatia seems to exist again. Dalmatia as well. Bulgaria is still going too. Um, it, they just seem to explode like all the damn time. Crazy. We still have a truce here, but... Once we can get some more of Bavaria... We'll be able to make another kingdom down here, right? Is this game better than Hearts of Iron? I prefer it. I don't know if it's better. I mean, I, I like it. I like it more, but... Teach their own, you know? Um, oh, yeah. We need to get you... The world must be Czech. You see the entire map? Yeah, sure, here. That's the map. It's a bit of a mess, especially around here. Very fragmented, isn't it? We're pretty big. We've become big boys. We gotta check check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Yeah. See, we could force vassalize him. But he owns too much. This comes at a cost of prestige. Um, let us... Um, let's host a feast. Uh, let's call a hunt, actually, for some more prestige. Sound the horn. School's back in. All right, lads. Assemble. It's a hunting weekend in Barlad. Away from the others, I came across a cottage housing one of the most beautiful people I have ever laid my eyes on. This is why we go for a hunting weekends, boys. She invited me to stay and rest, and I was surprised by how much I had in common with a simple peasant. Do you have to return to the hunt already, my lord? I have never met one such as you before. Why, if I remain here any longer, I would have to stay the night. Okay, we can gain some... Look at this. Guta joins your court. You go grow closer to forming an intimate relationship with Guta. All right. We're strictly business. We're going to resist the advances and we're going to get 50 religion points. That's right. All right. The hunt end has ended. Soothing the pain. While I was at the market with Rory, his attention was caught by a criminal chained the pillory. All right. He can be arrogant, callous, or remain compassionate. Okay. He can remain compassionate. That's fine. We're compassionate. Let's raise him to be compassionate, right? Makes sense? That makes sense. Oh, look. His wife is in jail. Uh, do Venice hold um, parts of what we're after here as well. Innsbruck and this place, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Come under the kingdom of Bavaria. Yeah, so we want to try to go to war with these guys. No, we fought them already. This is a du jour place for us. And he's vastly inferior to us as well with no allies.
Oh, Nusa died at the age of 29. That's a big stress buster for us. That's making us feel better, chat. That's made us feel way better. We have to watch out for the... Uh, a black man from Targu Jiu has come to petition me for increased representation in my government. What? What? No. <laughs> We're Czechs here, okay? Targu Jiu. What the fuck? How oh, about Targu? Get the fuck out of here! Oh shit. They're going for the old capital speed run. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. They're trying to steal my horse. Capital speed run. Targu Jiu. Alright, that's good. Keep sieging here. We're gonna go into dead here, but whatever. Uh oh. Boleslav of Floridsdorf is injured. And so is Terenity Bakunin. Great battle, though. One of the better battles. A real humdinger of a battle. Okay, let's chase him back home here. Terenity now. <laughs> I know. We're chasing him through the mountains. We're gonna go do a quick siege on his capital. Look, we're gonna go and siege Venice. Steal all his whores. We need some... We need some compensation here for this fight. We're so broke, I know. Well, it's because our army costs a fortune to run. We just need to work on our economy a bit more and we'll be fine. Nice. Oh my god, it's cost 62 bucks to sail over to their capital. That's crazy. Let's just siege here instead. 62 bucks that I don't have. Don't raise all the armies? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. We can just, um... Hopefully we'll get some prisoners here, ransom them make some money and then we'll be ready to go next time we need to grab some of these places though before they become too difficult to grab hopefully venice realized that they can't fuck with us now their holy wars and shit the worst all right we've got innsbruck not innsbruck Eichenlow. Eichenlow. We took it for the Duke. We took it for our Duke. Alright. We can ransom her for 25 bucks. Who do we want to be a guardian for Captain Disco of Bohemia? My sister, Princess Susan. Okay, good. We got a faction rising against us here. This is um, the Bavarian Waldensian populace. Okay, that's fine. It's just gonna be more debt, but whatever. How big is Bohemia now? We're huge now. We're an empire now. Fuck. <laughs> the worst. Just the worst. Here comes more crippling debt. Oh, 
hopefully this guy is... Hopefully this army is where the dude is commanding and then we can just end this like instantly. Economy, I know, I know it's fine. We'll be, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Quite satisfied. Uh, we can make him fickle, trusting, or he can stay content. I think we'll leave him content. That's fine. Okay, who's next? Is there anyone else over here? Or is it just this guy? Um, what titles can we create? Ah! Okay, good. We can create this duchy as well. That'll be good. And then hopefully these guys will just take the rest of the bits of, um, what's, whatchamacallit, ah, oh, fuck. It's just like constant fucking peasant uprisings over here. Okay, done it. Alright, we have some catching up to do now. Um, did we grab any, is, do we have any prisoners that we can ransom out for money? 20 bucks, won't accept. No. Okay, so we've just got to make this money back. Alright, we'll let our vassals do some work for a bit. It looks like they're continuing to, to siege Bavaria and stuff like that. So, we'll let them do that. And then hopefully, with any luck, we'll be able to, to create the kingdom of Bavaria. And then we'll be able to... Um create another king and manage all these guys and we'll have another sort of uh, powerful vassal in the south that can handle uh, some of this and hopefully we can start chipping away at east and west uh, Francia. Well, East Francia really is who we want to start chipping away at. And then we want to uh, convert them to our religion too, right? Which is becoming fairly dominant, I'd say. Like, it's much... We've got much more representation than Catholics do anyway. Catholicism hasn't really... I don't even think Catholicism reached Crusades in the end. I think there's only a couple of people who managed to get up to to being able to do um, Crusades. And I think they were like these... Some some of these guys. I don't even know like what, what they are. Praise Rod. Wait. Did we just lose Alpsy? I don't know if we did. Dismantle the the papacy. Yeah, it's an option. We have to completely control Italia to do it. It's not impossible, though. No? I have received an intriguing letter from Pribislava. Intertwined with the normal inquiries and anecdotes are subtle yet unmistakable compliments on my singular clear-headedness. Wow, who's this? She's a guest of Duke Arnost. And a gracious lackey. Okay, sure. I'm flattered. I am flattered. He won't offer... He won't take... Uh, he won't become a vassal. In fact, there's nobody else around here, really, that is going to be up for being vassalized, right? Maybe these guys... Close enough. Close enough, but they're at war. 
They're defending against uh, Corson. Oh, no, wait. Cherkassi. They're defending against these guys here. So these guys are in war, too. They're not close to becoming vassalized. The other guys kind of, though. Well, these guys. No. Nope. Will not accept. Uh-oh. Captain Disco. Uh-oh. He's got consumption. This is an enemy I cannot protect him from. My wife, Empress Karen, is with child and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange. Oh. Uh, we have 90% chance of discovering the truth. Okay, let's see. Suspicions laid to rest. Okay, good. She's lost some opinion. I didn't realize that she was pregnant again, even. Holy crap. We have two boys. We need a daughter. Peregonante. Peregon Peregonante. This is part this is part of the kingdom of Bavaria apparently but it's, is it is Prixen de jour part of the kingdom of yeah it is okay so is Innbrook and Alpsy and a whole bunch of look at this kingdom of Bavaria all the stuff in uh, East Francia as well having returned to my chambers for the evening i'm startled by what sounds like a pebble striking my window Krabislava, come on, get out of here. Okay, I'm selling this for 75 bucks. Oh. Rory's gonna treat, keep the trait arrogant. Rory. Hey, look, Lombardia. I know, that's a very expensive shell. Look at that, we're out of debt already, chat. We're out of freaking debt already. We can force vassalize him. King Gareric II of Bavaria. So if I force vassalize him, what happens to the title? It's going to cost me 500. Whereas I could just conquer the county. 700k. What? He keeps it. He keeps it beneath me. He just becomes your vassal with the same titles. But does that mean that we j we get the kingdom of Bavaria, though? And you get a boner. Yes, but he'll hate me. So I should just count conquer the county. The county of Brixen. Oh, fuck me. He's in the Isle of Man. <laughs> He's in the fucking Isle of Man. Okay. You know what? I'm not fighting this. It's going to be too expensive for what it's worth. And he's just going to fucking sit in the Isle of Man. I have no chance of... I could vassalize him and then we'd have the Isle of Man. Might be worth it. Look at this. <laughs> fucking Isle of Man. I've been there before, you know. It's not bad. It's not bad. Duke Bozeg of Bavaria. My cousin, vassal, and champion. Oh my god. Okay, this guy's learning is incredible. I can't reassign this for ages though, so I'm gonna have to put you in to this spot. He's a powerful vassal, so he'll want to he wants a council position, right? Alright. Next. Part of me, order of business is saving up 500 bucks so that we can finally feudalize Doodleby. Another son! Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh, it's the three, the dreaded three-way split chat. Look at all of this. Fuck. God damn. Oh my lord. I tire of these games. Leave me alone. Or give me more money, maybe. But 
ultimately, come on now. Leave me alone. Yeah, the Empire is going to get fractured. The fractured but whole. Actually, you know what? It doesn't. It doesn't get fractured at this point. Because even though those guys inherit other titles, it doesn't matter. Because the Emperor title still, still binds it all together. They're still vassals under you, right? So it's fine. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know, someone is plotting to kill my guest, Bathilder. Right, okay. They're all under me. The Empire will live on, yeah. The, 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 the worst one is when you're a king that holds multiple kingdom titles. That's the, that's the toughest one. Uh, be, then, it, then you get fucked every time, right? Yeah, 25 bucks. I'll take it. Oh. Okay, I've got a new... Wow, look at this. Piedmont, Burgundy, Tuscany, Venice. Nice. What number Rory is this one? This is the fifth Rory. This is the one, this is the, the child emperor. Uh-oh. He recovered from his consumption. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, shorter truces and no prestige penalty for breaking them. That's good. Since we are warring a lot, right? No, there haven't been any crusades called in my game. Uh, normally the Catholics do a lot of Christianity will do a lot of uh, crusading but for for whatever reason in this game they just never got big enough to do it which is pretty good uh, King Garrick of Bavaria he's really not worth it we don't have any stress though he'll gain 15 opinion of me <laughs> oh my god my kids are my kids are outside and that i think like a police car an ambulance just drove by and just blared the siren just as they were passing like by my house and like just out of the corner of my eye i saw everybody jump they were like Whoa! <laughs> it was so good oh, that's hilarious um king gear okay count radosta who's my vassal will become my friend um, and then King Gareric II gains 15 opinion of me. We don't need to lose stress, so we might as well gain a friend, right? It's pretty good. Whoop! <laughs> Alright. We're almost there with Doodleby. We're gonna feudalize Doodleby, and then we'll create these titles and get these duchies created and shit. And, um, and then hopefully these guys can start pressing west. We've got some money in the bank now, which is good too, right? Alright. Feudalizing Doodleby? Hell yeah. Feels good. Alright. It needs some upgrades as well, but it is now a castle. And it is now generating stuff for us, right? This is good. Uh, a Doodleby! But did it. Wow! <laughs> Holy crap! How? My claims... I can't even force vassalize him. Jeez. This guy got huge. Styrmark. Styrmark. I think we've I think we force vassalized this guy, right? It'll cost a lot, but we'll save up and force vassalize him. And then we'll get um he'll become a vassal and we'll get the Isle of Man as well. Who cares? Cause otherwise it's gonna take too long to uh the, the war will be long because I don't want to pay to go over to the Isle of Man and siege it. 
he'll keep the title. Just conquer it so I can take his kingdom. He'll just move it to the Isle of Man, though. He'll still have the Isle of Man. So he'll be the king. He'll be the king of Bavaria in the Isle of Man. I can't usurp it because, um, look. The uh, kingdom of Bavaria. I can't usurp it because of our faith. Our faith is hostile. He cannot hold any de jure land in the title. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll be able to usurp it after I take this county. This is... Uh, he holds the title, and this is the last de jure county that he holds. And then I'll be able to usurp it. So I can just declare war on him for this county alone. Um, and then we're good to go. Okay, let's do this. So expensive. Du, 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 du. We're going in with all the boys. Pregnante again. Rory has come of age. Is she pregnant again? <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah, she is. All right, Rory, who are you going to marry? We need we need somebody with good stewardship for her, for him. So like maybe her? She's delicate, so she has less prowess. She's 45, but she's got a good traits. 31. We want somebody like 19. Oh my god, that fucking penalty hit for that is insane though. Someone with an albino trait. I don't know if you can do that. All right. So be it. There's now a holy war for the county of Brixen against Venice as well. good so we can we can usurp the kingdom of bavaria now this is great it's gonna cost us 500 bucks to do it which should take us no time at all to save up also we can get rid of some of these prisoners eight bucks <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good <laughs> Eight big ones. To the false emperor. You fucking bitch. Count Zevis of Pilsen is gone. Thank God for that. Who's he been replaced by? Ah, oh, Count Bedrick of Pilsen, who actually likes me. This is good. Oh my God. I can't believe it. This is the fourth fucking son. Jesus! What a mess! What a fucking mess! Maxwell. Alright, Maxwell, you got it. You're the first person I noticed. Ask for it, so you get it. Um, we could recruit Zobor, but we could put Count Radosta in here as well. He's pretty good. Ah, he can do this. It's fine. Um, county control for us. 
Predic. I think we're fine, actually. Let's get him to train up uh, generals, commanders, dudes. This is why you should only marry cougars. Yeah, I know. This is this is what we're going to do for the next one. King Kojeta. Prokop is scheming. Oh, okay. All right, we can just throw him in jail. That's fine. How are these guys doing? Uh, King Damasa doesn't like me much. Maybe if I send him a little gifterino. 37 bucks for 31 opinion? Sure. He's a big boy, eh? This is Grodno. What the hell? Here, let's give this guy... Let's grant this guy Grodno. Okay, good. He can handle all that shit. Look at, uh, look at our vassals are just doing work down here. Look, they're slowly cutting into, uh, into this area here. Who are these guys up to? What's the deal here? We can almost vassalize them, but they're different faith. If we declare war against them, we can force vassalize them. We could just force vassalize these guys. It'd be pretty good, actually. Um, for 375, uh, crown points. Let's usurp this title and then we'll do some more warring. Just force them. We're gonna force them in we're gonna force them into being vassals. We're getting to the point now where we're big enough to just sort of like snowball through. Hey, look at this. They got Innsbruck. They um they scooped it off of um Venice. It's pretty good. Once we have another kingdom down here in uh, Bavaria, they'll be able to start fucking going against some of these other guys too, right? Be nice. 500 bucks, though, to get that kingdom title. Yeah, we got really good money coming in now. Yeah, it's nice. No. Can I check on the Isle of Man? <laughs> yeah, here it is. <laughs> Kingdom of Bavaria with King Gararic the Second, fucking Dracula style. They had to hide him in a coffin and then ship him over here. <laughs> it was such a long journey, but I'm happy to be in the Isle of Man. <laughs> what a bitch! Captain Disco has come of age. Nice. Right. So, um, champions. We want, um, where are the boys? Captain Disco. <laughs> All right. Captain Disco is in. Who else? Where are the other boys? <laughs> where are our other sons? Oh, my God. We got to get rid of some of these boys. They're the worst. Accomplished Forger? Fabricate claim on county speed plus 75%? That's incredible. That's good for what we're doing here as well, right? Right, let's usurp this title then. Um, Kingdom of Bavaria. We get a whole bunch of crown points for it as well. Right, and then... So the Duchy of Bavaria, normally the... Kingdom of Bavaria, the de jure capital is Regensburg. So let's give it to this guy who already really likes me. So we'll grant him the title of Kingdom of Bavaria. Duchy of Austria is mine. I'm going to keep it. And the county of Brixen, he can have as well.
Good. And the Duchy of Carinthia normally comes under what? Bavaria as well. Okay, so we want to... Our new king. We want to grant him a vassal of Carinthia. So that's one less person for us to worry about. And what about this Pulzen? So this count, the, this county here normally comes under the kingdom of Bavaria and the duchy of Nordgau. But this fucking chuckle brother here. We'll lose 20 opinion with everybody unless... Unless we can prove that this guy is somehow like a murderer or something. Some sort of degenerate, right? King Damasa of Poland likes me again. This is good. Princess Delen of Timmy's. <laughs> she works at Timmy's. Uh, Prince Rory, Count Jacob. All right. Let's get Count Jacob in here. We well, have to start converting some of these places into Czech as well, right? He's got a lot of work to do. Bohemia is big now. Very big. Right. So we want to send our dude in here to find out more about this guy. Am I an emperor now? Yeah, I am. Uh, it's fine. F it's fine for a king to be strong. He's still not going to be stronger than me, so it's fine. We're giving them, like... The thing is, they, they grow in power on their own as well, right? So uh, every once in a while... Uh, like after like some sort of succession for their title uh you can kind of swoop in and then take stuff off of them right but we'll try to carve things up into like du jour kingdoms underneath our our empire right commander promoted yeah nice okay good that's great see straight away this guy becomes king and then bam peasant revolt like they 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 got enough shit to deal with honestly like it's it's not a problem if we can take, if we can strip these titles from this guy in Plezen, that would be great. We'll strip the, uh, we'll, we'll strip Plezen from him, take it for ourselves, since our domain limit is quite big. No. We can't find anything on this guy. What's the other one that we want? Boleslav. I can just claim the title from him, actually. All right, so now I revoke title from him. I'll take Plezen, because it's mine, and I'll use a hook on him. 80% chance. Oh my god. He's resisting arrest. Chad, he's resisting arrest on his own. He's all by himself. He's just so fucking outraged at this. by himself just 131 dudes wait oh he's got another county <laughs> he's trying to he's trying to take the kingdom of Bavaria split and prong no 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 watch we've got to end this quick it's not worth it to be in this war Prince Gareric. Oh, right. He's like... He's managed to get the truce, like, annihilated. We could go after the Isle of Man now. Okay. We'll sort these guys out in a sec. Okay. A bit costly. Um, do we want to attempt to rectify Rory's flaws? This is my son and heir, Rory. Rory Pennywhacker might overcome his flaws. Okay, let's try it. 
Uh, venture into the streets and talk to the poor. What's it? Rory has agreed to let me mentor him, even though his enthusiasm is somewhat lacking. Give away possessions to those in need. Okay, what about if he holds court in my stead? Let's try that. That'll round him off, right? Ten bucks? Thanks. I'll take it. Okay, what about... Uh, own up to a misdeed and make it right again. Try that this time. Hello? Uh, I was trying to take this guy's title from him, and I went to war with him, and it was just given to Count Bozapur of Hohenberg? Hello? And now he's not even my direct vassal. Did I miss something? What the hell? Who is that guy? <laughs> yeah. That is odd, isn't it? I don't know how that guy managed to get that. Did I press Bavaria's claim? No, no. I used a hook to try to, uh, to claim my title back. Oh, well. Whatever. It's fine. He can have him. Set in his ways. Okay. He'll never change, apparently, chat. This we have found out. What do we want to do next? <clears throat> we got to cut down some of these boys here. Hungry and Stayermark. Uh, and we, we kind of need to go up against some of these guys too, right? Vassalage is not going to happen with these people here. Because um, of the different culture. They're at war as well. And different faith. It's a bit of a problem. We should really try to um, get our religious stuff done, right? We're missing a... Let's save up for this holy order. We'll become, the, we'll become a patron of our own holy order. And then um, I think we can, I think if we do that, that means that people can start holy wars in the name of our religion. Is that what it means? Let's set it up. Let's set it up and see what it's like. We'll make ourselves a god. In the name of Rod. In the name of Rod, in the name of Rory, in the name of God. Rod and Rod. Uh, do I want to go to a feast? With Duke Ingvar Stanislavovich of Novgorod? Ah, sure. Yeah, why not? A promise is a promise. Who is this guy? How does he get a hook on me, for fuck's sake? I get stressed out because I'm craving. Crown authority level? Uh, it can go to three, I think, in another year. I think it can go to. I can think we can up our crown authority level soon. Oh, we can do it now. All right. High crown authority it is, baby. Okay, so with the new... With high crown authority, rulers can change between all available ex a succession laws. Which is pretty good. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals. Uh, another, unless they use a hook on their liege. Vassals' titles cannot be inherited by characters outside of the realm. This is very good. All vassals who refuse title rev revocation or vassal retraction are considered criminals. This is also very good. Clan government vassals will provide at least 15% of the levies and 5% of income. Uh, so that's all good. That, that's worth it, right? Uh, we, we haven't researched primogeniture, though. We still can't do it. So succession. Uh, succession law at partition. 
We need heraldry for high partition. We need primogeniture for primogeniture. We need primogeniture for ultimogeniture. And we can do house seniority, but it sucks. Because uh, it's uh, the oldest member of the house, not just our children. So it's like a, it's, it's like a dynastic thing. So it would be somebody who's like older than me right now would, would become heir. And then it would just be sort of like that, right? So it kind of sucks. How seniority. So we're, we're, we're really looking to get this, but this doesn't come till later in the game. I don't think there's any way around it. Uh, the only thing that we can do is hope that our wife, who's 46, doesn't have any more kids. Um, and uh, Prince Rory, who's our son and heir, will keep him safe. And meanwhile, we send Captain Disco, Peter, and Maxwell... Uh, out on, on on as many lads weekends as we can and by that I mean we're gonna make the we're gonna force them to be commanders in our armies and then hopefully they just get maimed and killed out on the field of battle so that our heir just inherits everything right yeah that's the way to do it all right so captain disco is one and then Rory, my son and heir, will forbid him. We don't want him going out there. Where's my other son? What does he look like? Captain Disc... Oh, he's not old enough yet. Peter's only six. Prince Peter. Okay. We got a lot of money. A lot of money. Oh yeah, we got some new prisoners, didn't we? Where are they though? The Principality of Grodno. Sure, can come out for 50 bucks. Sure. Whatever. She's more useful outside. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think she's just, like, having an affair with somebody. And usually just, like, imprison them and then ransom them straight away. That's just free money, pretty much. It's a free imprisonment. And then it's, like, free money to get them once they're out, too, right? It's pretty good. Uh, right, okay. So we have the Kingdom of Bavaria. We have the uh, Kingdom of Great Moravia. Uh, where does this normally come, come under? This is part of... Oh... Weird, okay, we can grant this guy this vassal. Get him to manage him. Uh, this will normally come under what? The Kingdom of Hungary. Okay, which we can start working towards getting. East Francia we need to start chewing into as well. Uh, a little bit. And um, I don't know. I don't think these guys are, are up to much, actually. They're not that big. Right, I like we're much bigger. Yeah. Pog Pog for Lunar. Pog for Lunar. Thank you for the big raid. Seven thousand viewers. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. That's a lot of thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, new people. We're playing as Bohemia. Uh, we have been for some time now, and uh, we, ha we have an empire, the Empire of Bohemia, with a couple of kingdoms underneath. And we're just trying to plan out our next moves. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I seem nervous now. <laughs> hey. hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do next. It's all big boys around us. I mean, I guess we could go against Hungrier's stair mark. We have some claims. We can't force vassalize them. We have one de jure county that we can go after. He's quite big, though. I don't know why his army's so big. He's got some... Um... He's got alliances. I guess. It's odd, isn't it? This guy is not that big. 
conquer duchies. We have claims. Oh, shit. I guess I have a claim on all of Hungary. How? I do. Fuck me. I, I actually have an unpressed claim on the entire kingdom of Hungary. That's wild. Okay, he has one ally, the chieftain Sir of Vax. Um, he's vastly inferior to us. And we have some money saved up, so we can totally do this. Alright, let's do it. We have no allies, but we can always uh, find one if we need one, right? What is this capital? It's over here. All right. Were we gonna do religious stuff? We were going to, yeah, but we've uh, decided to do this instead. Oh my God, this attrition. Alright, hopefully Captain Disco gets killed here. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Disco. Hopefully you get maimed and you perish. <laughs> we gotta get him out of the running. There's too many people wanting stuff. After this succession. Uh, my wife made five boys, for Christ's sake. Oh, my sister Karen is dead now, too. Captain Disco just wants to live. I'm sure he does. Uh oh. Oh, it's it's Peter of Arava. <laughs> Not Captain Disco. I love how I love how we're about to conquer Hungary and the only thing on our mind is please can one of my sons die <laughs> during this somehow. So close. Oh, please. Can we just get one rid of one of these kids? Alright. How is the... Alright. Everybody wants to be Czech. This is good. This is good. It makes managing things a lot easier, right? When everybody's the same culture and stuff. Um... Okay, let's let these guys fight. Captain Disco and my wife are gonna fight while I relieve some stress. That's great. Captain Disco is angry. He's angry at his mom. Mom, I don't like this meatloaf. I don't like that. Your dad's trying to kill me. And now you're trying to kill me with this meatloaf. Hey, sorry I'm Canadian. Thanks for the five gift subs, man. I appreciate it. And a box of cocks. Thanks for the 700 bits as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, we've almost got this. Accomplished forger. This poor guy's got to fight like all these other people up here and stuff as well. I think we might get, uh, I think we might inherit a war at, at, at the, off the back of this. Because who are these guys that he's fighting? The county of Lublin. It might just be like an internal war though. <clears throat> we'll let him just fight them and then, I don't know, maybe it'll just be easier for us. Although we've got a big army.
great. So be it. The Bohemian claim on the Kingdom of Hungary is complete. Ho oh, ho ho! That's spicy. We did inherit a war. It's a holy war for the chiefdom of, of Vukovar. Uh, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just march right down here. That's a spicy one, isn't it? Um, we'll have to give away some of these titles and create some of these titles once uh, once this holy war is done. We can do it. We need some more prayer points. Yeah, we do. I know we need to focus religion pretty soon. If we gotta, we're we're this huge empire, and we still don't have a um, we still don't have a reformed uh, religion. Crazy. Got to get on it. This is, there's only one river crossing down here. Give away a, a gaming PC after the war. Okay, I will. That's what a great idea. I love giving away gaming PCs after a big war. That's my that's my thing. If you've never watched this stream before, you'll know, man, we give away gaming PCs like all the time. It's that's just the way that we roll. Uh oh. I wasn't paying attention. Ah. I think we could probably white piece this though. Yeah, nice. All right, so that holy war ends, and uh, we now have uh, to do a whole bunch of reorganization. But we now have uh, the kingdom of Hungary uh, underneath us, and we should have the title for it as well. Yeah, we do. So we'll have to give this to somebody. Count Krasislav of Visigard. We have an unpressed claim on that title as well if we want it. Uh, after we give this guy the Kingdom of Hungary though, his opinion of me should be better. Especially once we transfer a bunch of vassals to him and stuff as well, right? That's the guy I just beat. Yeah, I I know, but I mean it. I mean, I could strip the titles from him. I guess. He will not accept it, though. I don't think we have any other disgruntled vassals. If you remember the last time we did this, nobody helped that poor guy. He had 135 troops. Ah, I'm fine with this guy, actually. He's a member of my family. He's my cousin, but he's not a member of my house. Ah, whatever. It's fine. We'll grant him the... We'll give him the Kingdom of Hungary. And we'll transfer a bunch of people into here as well, right? Principality of Bax, I think, is usually part of Hungary as well. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else is normally part of Hungary? I think that's probably about it for now. Look at all the shit that we've got. This is crazy. This is nuts, eh? Alright, so now we have uh, Great Moravia. We've got uh, Bavaria over here. We've got Poland up here. And then we've got um, these two duchies that we hold for ourselves. We need a new steward. Okay, cool. The king of Poland can do it. <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look, at, look at all these kings that we've got. Maybe we can put somebody a bit better in here as well. Captain Disco can become my Volkov. Okay, fine. In you go, Captain Disco. Oh, do you know what? Captain Disco was injured in the fights, but he was not killed. 
The gaming PCs to all of my vassals. Oh, to all, oh, right. You don't want me... To, okay, yeah. No, that's a bit cheaper, actually. I'll do that. That is much, much better. I've got a whole bunch of prisoners that can be ransomed. Like Duke Igor of Nitra. Sure. Take him. Prince Tomarascu. Yeah. Yeah. God, all this money. It's crazy. Most of these guys are so buried under these kings that it doesn't even matter. Like, if whether they like me or not, they have to deal with their with their king first, right? Not many people can get to the to the emperor. So the king of Hungary uh, wants independence, which we can't have. So we're gonna have to marry Captain Disco to like. Oh no, we can't. We don't have any girls that we can marry here, right? Do I have any sisters left? Maxwell and Peter. Oh, all these all these guys have gotten great traits as well. They're really lucky. Okay, we might have to send them a gift. 60 bucks. Okay, good. That's disbanded that faction. That's good. That's not bad actually. That's a that's a, a good use of 60 bucks, no? A 600 Ducat gaming PC. Oh my god, can you imagine? The king of Hungary would love that, right? Okay, I think we can set up this holy order now. Alright, where are we going to set it? Floridsdorf? Yeah, the city of Floridsdorf, which is right in the capital, right? So it's a thousand prayer bucks and 500 real bucks to found a holy order. With your support, Grandmaster Lupold has founded the Warriors of Perun. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> As I retreat to my chambers for the night, I stumble upon one of my guests. Alfhild in my innermost sanctum? How did she get in here? How did she get in here indeed? Jeez. It is not what it looks like, my lord, she claims. The fact that she is half naked in the process of bodily defiling my royal scepter tells me that it is, in fact, exactly what it looks like okay we can uh we can get her to leave our co who is she she's my guest okay we could lose 120 stress gain a deviant secret have her become my friend and then possibly uh run around in the nude and do we can we can literally praise rod here we could literally praise rod um, we'd learn the secret, but we could show her a kindness. Ah, okay, this is good. We can send her to prison and gain 250 prayer power. Nice. She's a sexual deviant. She's a degenerate gambler. Okay, cool. We'll ransom her for 10 bucks as well. That's nice. To the thoughtful Emperor Rory of Bohemia, I think it might be in the best interests of our realms to arrange a meeting with our heirs, Rory and she... Who are you? No. Go away. Go away. To the spineless Emperor Rory. <laughs> Fucking spineless? What the hell were you doing to my royal scepter? You weird bitch. What the fuck? Calling me spineless? She was trying to make it her spine. Right. Look at all of these nice little places down here that we could potentially conquer as well, right? We can become the next big boys on the block. Do we have like an an awesome claim on this? No. We could try to make one though. Fuck, maybe we should make one. Oh my god. Look at all of this. Look at all of this hell here. We have to get rid of all of this first though. 
A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My guest, Malfrida, has copulated with my son, Captain Disco. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Captain Disco, you dirty dog. What have you done now? What have you done now? Wait, if we banish Captain Disco, does he lose all his claims as well? Or is he still, um, will he still pick up his claims? So he still keeps all of his claims, but he just lives somewhere else. And then he'll come back. He keeps his claims, but he won't inherit. All right. It's going to pay me 85 bucks as well. Captain Disco? Sorry, man. You're out. He's out. Farewell, Captain Disco Pennywhacker. Right. So, in terms of succession, Captain Disco is still set to uh, inherit here. <laughs> Chat, you lied to me. You lied. Look, he's still set to inherit no matter what. I guess I can just uh, disinherit though, right? I can invite him to court on a hook. He'll just accept anyway. He's back. Alright, what we'll do then is we'll uh, disinherit him. That's fine. Alright. Captain Disco is out. He's out of the running. He's out of the running. We should have we should banish him now that he's fully out of the running. He's back just to become disinherited. Yeah, that's right. We don't want him picking up. We don't want him having any claims here. We don't want him having any sway here. I tell you what, chat, this is turning out real good for us. I mean, we've made some huge gains today. Bohemia is getting huge. Um, most of our neighbors we can conquer fairly easily. We just got to get good claims on them. Get some decent people in to run the kingdoms and stuff. And uh, we should continue to make gains as well. East Frankia, I think, is a lot weaker than us. Yeah, they are. They are weaker than us. Uh, they don't have any alliances either. Only a truce. So if we allied with another, um, I don't think we can actually because of the uh, differences in faith. But if we could get somebody behind us to help us with uh, East Frankia, we could probably make a big dent in them. But the, o the only time it would be worth doing that is if we have a real big claim. Like we could cut them in half in one war or something like that, you know. Or, or yeah, we could start sending some of our sons and stuff in there. It's hard, though, because none of them want to know. None of them want to uh, have, like, interfaith marriages. So it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit tough. Unless I convert, like, some of my sons to, like, something else or whatever and then get them in to infiltrate. I don't know. We can see. Try allying with the Norsemen. Yeah, look at... It, they're not doing too hot up here either. Sweden's just sort of flip-flopped in between having lots of land and then basically losing it all like they're still in ireland it looks like but they've more or less been completely kicked out of spain um and they had holds in england as well that they've lost yeah we got to cut these guys down basically i'm not too worried about the guys out east um but the guys out east are going to be easier to 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 conquer and do stuff with because um a lot of them share our religion right so they're, they're really easy conquests. You take them over and then you just do a cultural rehabilitation, <laughs> as I like to call it. And uh, and then it's fine. You don't have like many uprisings or anything. We only get these uprisings because we've got a lot of Catholics and Waldensians living in here, you know. East Frankie is full of Catholics. Yeah. You should just go east and leave the west to fight holy wars. Yeah, we could do. We have this uh, holy order set up now too, right? How far are we from getting this? Three years away? And then we can start upgrading castles and stuff. We got a lot of money, so that's pretty good. Um, and then if we want to reform this uh, 
faith, it's uh, it's going to cost us 4,150 religious points. He's 43 years old now, Rory, so I don't know if he has much of a chance of doing it um, in his lifetime, but maybe the next Rory we can focus hard on uh, religion and get this faith reformed, and then we'll be able to hopefully get to a point where we could call crusades against other religions and stuff as well, which would be kind of cool. Um, I don't think I've ever really done I've taken part in crusades, but I've never actually, like, called crusades myself, you know? You also need to control three holy sites. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll have to get those. I'm th I think we're kind of close to a bunch of them, aren't we? Kiev, Novgorod, Plok. Plok is, like, right here. So we're close to one of them. We're... Barlad is all the way down here, which we're sort of creeping over towards. We're, we're fairly close to Barlad now. Uh, and there's another one up here, part of East Francia. And then this one, Novgorod, is part of um, Lithuania. Or is it Estonia? No, it's uh, Bajarma, Bajarmaland. Bajarmaland. King Raho of Bajarmaland. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're, we're heading out that way anyway, right? So, it, the, the year's 1095. I don't know when the game actually ends. Um, we've done really good, though. We've done really good. We've got a really decent empire here. There's more to get. It ends in 2020. My father devastated me today. 1453, Threw me okay. out of the kingdom, disinherited me. Now <laughs> I have nothing except the spirit of disco and fire in my heart. <laughs> yeah. I only hope my brothers all perish and my father eats the ashes. <laughs> You know what? It's Captain Disco. It's likely to happen. I wouldn't worry too much about it. All right, chat. Listen, let's leave it at that. We've had a good day. We've done. We've made some great gains and stuff. Tomorrow, I'll be back. We'll play a bit of this, um, and then we'll do some uh, Fall Guys practicing. And then in the evening, uh, we've got Twitch Rivals, which is exciting. We're going to be playing Fall Guys with uh, Hat Films on our own team called the Penny Whackers. And uh, we will be trying our best to win the top prize. Against a bunch of really sweaty hot dog eaters. You, you should see some of the people signing up for the thing. They're like, I've got 700 wins and stuff like that. So there's basically no chance we will win it. But it'll be good fun. It, it's fun to, to finally be invited to something like Twitch Rivals. And it'll just be fun to take part and fart around with, right? Yeah, we'll be streaming here for Twitch Rivals. Yeah. Half Films will all be streaming on their individual channels as well. Uh, their, their, their POV. So we'll set up uh, a squad stream and stuff. And then um, and then if you'll see us from time to time on the actual Twitch Rivals channel as well, right? Yeah. You had some hot dogs today? Lucky you. Nice. Right. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for some more uh, Red Hot Bohemia action chat. Okay? We'll, uh, we'll carry on with this for a bit tomorrow. And then we'll do some training for Fall Guys. And, uh, and then we'll do Twitch Rivals. That'll be, that'll be the, the schedule for tomorrow, yes? Okay, good. Chat, thank you very much for watching the stream. Thank you very much for all the support as well. I appreciate it. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for all the resubs. And thanks for all the donations as well. The, the Rory lineage is still going strong. Many, many strong Rorys. It's great. It's been a really good game. It's, it's flipped and flopped a lot, but I feel like finally we've got our economy on track and we're sort of on top of succession stuff now with uh, being in an empire. It's a little bit more um, smooth, the succession, right? Yeah? Good. All right, chat. 